Awesome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to DMZ Presents Two Annihilation on Thursday nights. Uh, mm-hmm. We're just uh, we just stopped some chatter because we're talking about the new edition of D and D. So we got a lot to say. Thor's in your forty seven point nine K. Great. Oh man, it's getting oh, close. God. Okay. Oh, I, I had It'll a new a I had a new idea. <laughs> I had a new uh, channel point idea, but it's it's really dumb. I like it already. I already love it. It's going to be really good. <laughs> uh, so, Thorazen, how would you feel about a million points? Wait, let, let me finish. A million points to just drop Tiamat on the party's head. Oh, that's oh a my lot God. of points, dude. That's like five campaigns from now. A million points. <laughs> that's so many points. I mean, well, I like it, it, it's idea. so many points because <laughs> it just it, ends the TPK. Yeah, it's the TPK. So we have so, to decide whether we want viewers to be able to end the campaign. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, mean, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Do it. <laughs> you, you have to be a really dedicated viewer to do that. I like right. it. Or I just like hate it. us a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> I'm going to watch you. Can do it. something like, <laughs> I don't even know why I watch you. I hate this so much. You can get the basis of second. the internet. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of things we're discussing is the, the new build yeah. set. Uh, I got a lot to say about this, guys. Um, mostly, I'm mostly excited. I was talking about the feats. Yeah, I think in general. I'm mostly excited. The feats are like 90% there. A couple of them might I might have some trouble with. The new lucky feat is nerfed, and yet it's still so pretty good. somewhat problematic in that the fact that it's it might be the best one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna I, think it, I think it's going to be hard to not take it still, even though it is weaker. It is advantage instead of a reroll. Mm-hmm. So that's Dude, rogues. That's like you gotta take it as a rogue, right? Like yeah, maybe. Maybe <laughs> I mean, look, yeah. uh, a lot of the origin feats, they're compressed and they're they're more balanced with each other. Yeah. Um the spells, however, the, <laughs> there's gonna be some day one nerves, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Um so what they're what they try to do with spells, uh, as far as I can see, is that a lot of them hit immediately. Mm. Uh, and then there's a lot of if you enter or end your turn as opposed to start your turn there. So like Moonbeam, Spirit Guardians, uh, yeah. all the ones will start doing their damage. The problem is you get, you know, um, especially with Spirit Guardians, if it last 10 minutes, you get people uh, trying to Diablo a dungeon and just Absolutely. burst yeah. through it, which I find very irritating. As yeah, as- I think I think it's right to be irritated. Yeah, but I think it is also fair to say that the cognitive dissonance of "Hey, I've cast this spell," we it all agree that right. the spell is happening. Yeah, but then this dude walks right into it, or I walk right into him, and nothing happens for yeah a minute, right? Like if there's ten, like so. I think that like I get like that part, but I think it it does as you we've described think- well. It it can cause some gameplay problems. Yeah. yeah. Well, and we, we, we've talked about this before. The way it's written, it's it's the Baldur's Gate three thing. You can buff yeah. movement speed and then just run back and forth on your turn to keep doing damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Which is I'm great getting... in a video game, but in tabletop, it's not as much fun because then your rest of your your rest of your group is just sitting there like, dude, what the hell? Yeah, I have trouble. I, I might have trouble balancing around things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. The big change. Uh, is going to be that on the 17th, Roll20 and d Beyond both go live. But there, there are some issues, though. Um, what I don't want is a mix of both editions. We're not going to have that. I've already, ha- I already had a problem with the player doing that. I don't want you to take the good of the next edition and you know take the take the good oh, of yeah. the next edition and try to mix those two together. That's not. Was it happen. Brad? Was it Brad? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Uh, the problem is, you know, power to the people, Brad. Power to the people. Yeah. The um, uh, the races or the species in the next edition are not as strong. I would say are simplified versions of the old species, yeah, that's and that's right. that's by design. The backgrounds kind of bring up more of the weight, and then it's by design to have a, a cleaner, simpler process of creating your character. The problem is, we have a lot of you know, 2014 D&D classes that are just broken at this point. They're just <laughs> bonanza. Boy. Even the dog's yeah. mad about it. Yeah, it's like, mad about that's it. not that's scary for a second. Uh, so <laughs> I don't, so and, and another problem, another problem is that people are, I think John, you said like if you are say a Warforged or, or a Tabaxi or something that's not in 2024 yet, 
you, you have trouble looking at some of the yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. So I, I could not figure out why I couldn't pick Warcaster. I was like, what is happening? And then I finally got to the right interface where, like in the character screen, if you scroll down to the feats that aren't valid, um, mm-hmm. that you don't meet the prereqs, and then it literally lists like you know, rule set 2024, you know, arcane trickster, you know, like, like you literally have to have the new classes. And because I picked Warcaster from XTG, XGTE, right. <laughs> um, right, which yeah. is in the extended rules, it's not legacy. It still doesn't consider me meeting that, um, that requirement. And so I couldn't pick it. And so, yeah, that's where you get in those cases. Like, well, I'll just pick the old one. And it's like, well, <laughs> now we get these Franken characters. And, like, and see, that's why that's why I think, I, it, my, my opinion, we should we should finish the campaign in what is now being called Legacy, okay. and then make the change. That's just right, my that's, opinion. That's that's and that's an opinion. Um, I'm <laughs> I'm not opposed to that if that's what everybody wants to do. Because my class just straight up doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist, no. <laughs> and that's happening for a lot of people. Um, so uh, you know, my, I think that's probably less problematic than a class that does exist and people are cherry picking. Right. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Cause you're just taking the wholesale artificer from before. And like, I, I imagine that's reasonably okay compared to like, you know, like, Hey, I'm going to take this from here cause it's better or this from here because it's better. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of tend to think the same way just for simplicity's sake, but it also will. The, be, bad, uh, the bad thing about that is that you don't get to play with your new toys for a while. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, but it also it also gives the websites time to iron out their kinks. That is true. Well, you're true. Assu- you're assuming that they don't break the old grid. <laughs> <They might. laughs> so I think I think that's what we'll do because what I don't what will not happen is we won't do half and half. We just yeah. can't do that, folks. Uh, there's too much that are changed. There's too many little things here that are buffed. Too many little things here that are nerfed. That we're either playing legacy or we're playing the new rules. I think what I'm I think what I'm going to say is if we're if we're doing a new campaign. We're going new. Oh yeah, PVP yeah. and no, TVT, no campaign start are, without new. That makes sense. Yeah, PVP and TVT. Those are all new rules now. We're yeah. all going, all going all new. Going. And once we go new, all of the legacy stuff is left behind. Mm-hmm. All the splat books, goodbye. Yeah, I have to play. I need as a DM. I need just the core to see how it's balancing. So that means so know, not even extended. So no just extended. Core. Okay. No, yeah. No. Right. Yeah. As long as we know up front, I think that that's that makes sense. Yeah. I, I think, think the trick is like, is like Trey saying, is like the swap in between is is really tough because and, that's what, and we'll and we'll stick to legacy. It's fine. Yeah. That sounds. But we, we don't get to play with toys. Uh, and but when you do get a new campaign, it'll be yeah only those what it's like eight or nine species something like that. Yeah. It's not a lot, and only those There's plenty, dude. Core class. There's totally plenty. <laughs> There's a lot to play with. There's remind a lot us when we get there, because I remind yeah. us when we get there about that. And so, should I go back to my spells and change them from what they are now to legacy spells? Like you I had to re- change, change them. It takes five, 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 five seconds, but that's yeah. why I made a, a separate character as the 2024 version, so I could have both. Oh, no, uh, <laughs> you look because I didn't. I didn't want to have to do the back and forth. <laughs> it um, wasn't. It only took a couple minutes. But yeah, okay. yeah, I think that's. I think that makes the most sense for like mid campaign, unless everybody's down or everybody's not affected. Yes. Okay, right. so we'll stay, we'll stick with legacy until until we jump back. Um, I just hope my brain doesn't explode when I have to. Jump yeah, I know. So that's the one thing is like you having to juggle. I was hoping to change it all, but I, I realized that might not be plausible. That's I mean, we can you know we don't have everybody, so we could like talk to everybody and see where people want to do. And you know, obviously, Tunk is the is the most affected. Um, Wait, I mean, look. Well, say I, like- I, 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 I can I, I can write Tunk out and make a new character. Technically, technically, by the way that it's that it's uh, put up there, Artificer comes. I think Artificer will be the only thing that I bring along with. Got it. Okay. And by by the way, it's spread <laughs> out on D and D Beyond. Artificer is actually kind of an add on. Oh, okay. So cool. That's okay. Class that stays. So that's yeah. okay. I'm okay with that. I mean, right. I've already done all the work. Pretty much, it just killed my dreams of this character, but. <laughs> Um, but otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, uh, yeah, like I've already got it and it, you know, it is more, it is simple. Um, it does make more sense in general. I will stuff. say if this is the route we want to go, you guys, you know, you still have a good four or five, six months left in this campaign. Oof. Oh yeah. It'll be a while before we hit the new. Okay. okay. Yeah. So let's, we, we have until the 17th so we can discuss it in discord and try and figure out. Okay. Where where the where everybody stands because I don't have a strong 
feeling either way. And so okay. it'd be good for everybody. I think everybody should at least try to yeah. make a copy of their character in the new rules and see what they're worried about, if anything. And then we can talk, you know, based on actual experience instead of just being worried about it. But mm -hmm. in general, like I, I have, I have good vibes from reading the rules. Like I've been reading through the player's handbook, like mm -hmm. literally page by page, just to try to see where the differences are. I think the scariest things are um, exhaustion, good lord don't get exhausted it's minus two at, at first level and it just gets worse from there minus two minus four and I like i am loose I speed think, <laughs> i think i'm i am that's the one thing that i've been carrying over and that will be active right now oh yeah no it's just way worse than what you were doing before like no, we're, we're, twice we're, as worse we're playing those, <laughs> we're playing those, those exhaustion days right now yeah yeah so like that, that's one of the most scary things i think <laughs> counter spell is largely garbage now because it, it makes a caster have to do a con save. And if any yeah. caster kind of worth their salt is going to have a decent con save for con spell, for concentration spells. So like the chances of you succeeding are going to be way lower. Um, there's no automatic counter. Like the you know, dispel is still the same. Interestingly, they left the mechanic for dispel. Like, Hey, if it's a third level spell or lower, it just goes away, but not for counter spell. Yeah. But, but what else did I see? I think in general, and then they, yeah, they nerfed my, like in general, most people are using darkness this way, like casting it on an area. But of course I wanted to cast it on a thing, which was okay by the old rules. No, and I've, that's had, not I've had people do the, the, put it in a pocket, bring it out. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So like, I, yeah. So like that's gone, um, <laughs> which is, I think is not necessarily a nerf and just like, a, oh shit, we didn't realize that we left that opening there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, like I think that, you know, making a character was really straightforward and I think, the way that they've organized it and kind of like clarified it, especially like the stat blocks, like, like, Hey, when you summon this thing, use this stat block. That's right here. So you don't have to yeah. go search for it. Like it just like, it, it just seems like in general, they're, they're pretty. I think, yeah. And there's a pretty, lot of, pretty, there's a lot of good uh, quality of life changes. Very excited. All right. Music should be going. All right. Yep. Um, All right. So we'll, so the, the, for tomb Thursdays, we are going to, stick with uh legacy until we're gonna stay with legacy until, until we get uh, you know so a chance at least in at least until next week so we get a chance to talk and figure out what we want to if do you want to if you want to talk off offline and, and come to a conclusion but yeah i just think getting everybody like getting everybody's take would be good it does mean if you want to jump to the new stuff yeah. a lot of you might have to switch races yep so there's no but there's no no damn pier. There's no putting your pinkies in the in the pool on this one, guys. <laughs> that mean that a real boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be a real boy. Yeah. Uh, well, all right. Here's the thing. So if we do do this, we have to change races or classes or whatever. You have to come up with a story oh, that course. makes it make sense. I mean, <laughs> D and D, of course. <laughs> Be a wacky pool or a horrible magician. It's always good. Yeah, of course. <laughs> right on. All right. Um, all right. Well, we are back in Tomb of Annihilation, folks. Uh, the crew has just slaughtered some Edlesses here. Uh, who provoked you? <laughs> they did provoke. Uh, in the Hanging Gardens of Mangalore, where you have just seen a pool with a whole bunch of stone things in the inside of the, at the bottom of it. Uh, you've also. Um, well, let's introduce ourselves first. We have John. John, who are you playing today? I'm playing Kalista Kaglostra, who is a war mage, Dampier war mage, and fighter on the way to Psy warrior, at least as far as the legacy rules. We'll see how it changes uh, going forward. We got Ethan. Ethan. Uh, we got uh, Kenny. Kenny, who are you playing? I'm playing Ethan, the uh, variant human sorcerer. Excellent. Pat, who are you playing? I am uh, Test, a uh, what am I? A um, circle of the moon druid. Excellent. Uh, we have we don't have Josh today. I think he might be in chat, but he can't play right now. So I'm gonna take him out. Okay. Yep. Uh, who else we have? We got Tim. Tim, who are you playing today? Uh, playing as Wraith, the Warforged uh, Stalker Ranger, which sounds like he may become a real boy soon enough. So you know. <laughs> Uh, I don't have River right now, but um, I'll go find him. But uh, Nick, who are you playing Yay. today? Name is Nick, and I am playing the cleric, El Eldrin cleric, River. Excellent. I'm going to go grab your guy right now. But first off, uh, Trey, who are you playing Thanks. today? I am playing Tunk, the rock gnome artificer, who <laughs> might be changing classes 
very soon. He might be. <laughs> he might have to go be a full blown wizard. <laughs> How uh, am I now? Just now seeing Sheldon in the, no, in the art, miniature. No, what, what we said, Trey. The artificer stay. Artificer will stay around. Oh, okay. Yeah, artificers can stay. Rock you're gnomes, you're you're a wizard you can be a gnome. You can be a gnome, but your racial stuff will change. If you want, if you guys want to make the switch. Okay. To be determined. Be TVD. It's up to you. Stay tuned next. Stay tuned next week for. That's right. For a can the <laughs> can of how races are we? <laughs> shit figured out. Do you guys want to do a Do you guys want to do a Sailor Moon race change? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. All the giant time. anime sequence. The same oh hell yeah, man! <laughs> Moon power. With the rock montage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's River. Remember, change your HP or whatever it is. You got a long rest. You're good. You come in fresh. Everybody else is a little battle worn. Not too bad. bad. Not too bad. Uh, it's not like you dove into a brush that turned out to be plant lobsters or anything. Just what you want to do, Tonk. You just kind of stepped into this pool where you saw, yeah, strange stone statues at the bottom of. That may or may not have been real people that were cursed. That's a big face. Well, I, don't know, well, I, I think what we're talking about is stuff that Sheldon actually saw beneath oh, the water. Got it. Okay. My bad. My bad. Um, let's see if I have this here. Yeah, you see, there are. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there are oddly shaped stones at the bottom, which you have gone down there, and you've seen now that it's a whole bunch of stone statues of lizards and turtles, and then you saw a couple humanoids down there as well. Look like Chilton adventurers. So uh, do we want to further explore this, this pool, or go into the... Uh... The big central building. I mean, we can do it once over the pool, get over to the other, um, the other dome over on the other side, the northeast side, and then maybe do the middle last. What do you think? So we follow. How deep is the pool? Do we need floaties? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good question. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> well, for you. I was like, I don't need to breathe either. <laughs> um, the pool is uh, about, let's see, 20 feet and then plus 10 feet. So we're dealing with uh, 10 feet of water there. Oh, wow. So it's yeah. legit deep. Yeah. It's legit. But it doesn't seem that deep because it's you can see all the way down the bottom. It's very clear. That is nice. <laughs> we should purify ourselves in the waters of whatever the hell this place is called, Nangalore. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, uh, so question real fast, um, just kind of looking at the map here. Uh, these little side... Uh, Yes. Is that wide enough to walk on, or is it just like a thin wall? You could walk on those if you wanted to. Cal is totally That's walking Cal on this back one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to at least move up to the corner. So I would suggest perfect. going back on this back wall in case we want to avoid aggroing anything in there, but... Well, I figured I'd get some sort of... I mean, you're sneaky, sneaky, so you can totally do it. Cal, as you're kind of flying there... <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. Uh, Mine. Just kind of looks at you and then, like, grooms itself a bit and continues to look at you. Okay. Um, while we're kind of walking across, I want to look down into the pool and see if we see anything other than what Sheldon's already seen. Like, is there anything that catches our eye? Is my moonbeam dead? Your moonbeam is gone at this point. All right, right on. There's always a show. We're not going to cast it. I'll take off the concentration. Okay. River, come follow one of us along the path. So these birds don't uh, immediately 
aggro us, even though we slaughtered their homies. It looks like they're taking a perch on top of these wolf, <laughs> these wolf statue heads here. So either they're not like in the same flock or whatever, or they're pretty confident something else is going to kill us. <laughs> they see, just saw what he did to their cousins. You see a uh, a giant, what looks to be um, a bell shaped dome here, um, with what appear to be you see no holes in the roof of this dome. Okay, is there, this is a doorway, though, right? That is a door. Yes. Um, did we? Did you? Did you hear my request to look into the water, see if we see anything else other than the, the stone statues? You see nothing else. I mean, you see a lot of statues down there. But yeah, yeah, but just like anything. Oh, there's a shiny gem or whatever. I don't know. Or a key. Uh, give, me, give me a perception investigation. I am good at investigation. Although my new character is even better. <laughs> 21. You can tell as you're looking at some of the, the statues there that a number of them could be sold. They look, uh, they look like they are... Um, all those lizards and turtles look like they're so lifelike that they could be sold for artistic value, maybe. Okay. <laughs> I bet they're really heavy, though. Yeah. But well, can't you make a bag of holding or something? I have a bag of holding. Yeah, yeah I already, I already if, did if that really once. Wanted, yeah, I if you want to, if we really want to, you know, get that. I don't know if we're that money strapped, but now we know we can come and pillage them. <laughs> well, if we ever need lawn ornaments, we know we'd come back. <laughs> <laughs> we did just drop a thousand dollars on a new bow. For That's me, true. So I kind of feel like why, why does this statue look like daddy, mom? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said he yeah, was on vacation. This. Um, anyway, so I'm here. I'm going to continue moving towards the front door. Okay. Or, or whatever door, whether it's front or side. Okay. You see a door here. Um, All right. You Actually, I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to try and open this opposite door so that Wraith can look through. <laughs> 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 so I'm going to I'm going to open this door and let uh, get back, <laughs> and then get back, or either that, or I can stand here either way. One of the no, two. no, get back. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, you open the door. One second. And my mace is ready. Second. The single large chamber inside the dome is obviously a royal apartment, or was centuries ago. Now the bright floral murals are dim and gray. Bits of colored glass are heaped beneath a cracked mosaic. Enameled wooden tables are split and tilting, and every bit of cloth is frayed and streaked. At the center of the room, a long divan stands upon a, uh, atop a circular dais. Reclining on the divan is a woman dressed in a flowing robe made from parrot feathers and stunning colors. Despite the heat, her arms, head, and face are covered in feathery veils. Next to her, a black orchid grows out of a large clay pot at the head of the divan. She dresses you with a strange voice, tinged with odd inflections. Strangers have come to Mangalore, my love. What boon do our subjects beseech? Only knowledge. We seek to rid this land of the death curse. Death curse? Do you hear that, my love? And she, she, you see her, she is, um, she brings up a hookah pipe and puts it inside her parody veils and a large stream of pink smoke comes out of her mouth. Uh, and she uh, holds it aloft, smoke trailing out of the hookah um, top, and she says, Do you hear that, Theotia? They come for knowledge. They wish to rid this place of a death curse. I have, had, I have not heard of such a death curse. Tell me more. Perhaps you can give me wisdom that you so desperately seek. Uh, so I'm going to use, I want to make some kind of intelligence save to articulate what I know about, what Cal knows about the. <laughs> about the death curse because I don't remember as Rikio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what should I roll? History? <laughs> um, I mean, 
what what you know is that your your benefactor who sent you here and other people in the world just told who knows uh if they're being raised if they're raised from the dead they slowly begin to decay and something is happening you know about something called a soul monger that lies somewhere deep in the south of Schultz. But that's all you know about. Okay. So basically, if you get revivified, raised dead, anything, any kind of resurrection, you, it doesn't stick. It's Death funny. keeps trying to pull you back. Yep, that's correct. Okay, got it. All right. So I articulate that. Okay. She says, my, my, that sounds terrible. But... You are here for another purpose, are you not? I do not have this wisdom of the death curse. How else can I assist you? Perhaps you could tell us the location of the Black Orchid. Uh, Her hand lazily drips down and points to the flower at her side. Uh, You see a gorgeous Black Orchid with its petals that look to be uh, jet black with a um, a pinkish purple stain at at the middle of it. Do you mean this? Presumably, uh, if there are two flowers that go by the name of Death Orchid, or Black Orchid, I would assume that the other was not as beautiful as this. She says... Okay. Uh, She says, I will accept payment for such a thing. This flower that you seek, it is rare. Even in here, the beautiful hanging gardens. Gardens of the dream, it is once called. And she she looks at you and her face kind of tilts, but you still can't see her face. It's just all about the love. She says, uh, I am Zalkore, once queen of the beautiful famed city of Om. But now, I find myself in a different place. Don't I, my love? She turns her face again to look at nothing. Nothing. She says, uh, this is worth a great deal. Surely a great deal less the new information of the death curse that you have recently acquired purely at our goodwill. Ah, she says, but I have no use for the death curse Mm -hmm. or its knowledge. I value beauty amongst all things. Tell me, uh, what is, uh, River, River, what's your charisma? What's your charisma, Cal, as well? My charisma is gone. It's eight. (laughs) (laughs) It's literally negative one. Goose egg. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. She says, I'm not uh, good at uh, she says, uh, <laughs> I require your beauty. If there is one, one amongst you who is pleasant to look at, I will take him as a slave. Mm. Be, careful, be, something, be, hmm? be careful of your talk of slaves. This does not sit well with us. Can I, can I summon a fae and have him present himself or her? I mean, you can, you certainly can try. Most people know that summon creatures don't last very long. Oh, okay. He's run something. Uh, Charisma is 16, if that helps. Uh, Are you volunteering to be a slave right now? Because now it's happening. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to protect you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wraith is like kind of maybe overhearing the word slave. Kind of. Mm. Yeah, good. Wraith, you're great. Wraith, Wraith, you can't hear any of this. Yeah, like, <laughs> Distance, like. <laughs> biotic. You hear, you hear nothing of this, right? She is uh, not shouting. Yeah, <laughs> she's smoking a hookah and having a nice convo. If that is your only price, uh, she says, or something you value, something of great wealth, a beautiful really? item from your Nyanzaru. Hmm. We come loop. Tank. Hold on, let me. <laughs> Allow me to consult the ledgers. <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on. This party did not expand. 
Um, well, I guess since I'm not really seeing any dangerous things, I'll make the trek around. Uh, Wraith, I'd say if you were there, probably you probably all saw, by the way, inside here, this is a balcony that doesn't go too high. It's only about five feet from where you are, five feet up. Uh, you saw, you see a giant statue uh, on the other side. Uh, it, didn't we find some uh, some proper diamonds last session? Oh, we found gems at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, we have two two diamonds. I, I, let's, and let's dragon wing bones. Let's try to right. trade trade a diamond or two. All right, I come up to Tom and I'll be like, oh, so what, what's, what's the hold up? What are you I don't know. Cal's talking to somebody. <laughs> I'm trying. I look back. I'm trying to keep Ethern from being enslaved. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> I, I don't know how Ethern being enslaved came up, but. Well, you, you, once, you, once you see our, uh, our negotiating partner, you'll understand. <clears throat> Um, so we, yeah, so we, we pull out one of the diamonds. You pull out one of the diamonds? Yeah. Yes. Like, huh? Uh, That's you good. pull, Cal, you pull a diamond. A, so Corey makes a sound and a snap of her fingers, and this bird opens this door, just comes through, opens the door, like headbutts it through, comes down with a, and it comes over with like a rag in its beak, and it snatches the diamond from you. Oh, it tries. Hold oh. on. What you got? It's, it's not gonna snatch it from me. We're we're gonna we're gonna have some kind of contest. Like I'll okay. hand it, I'll hand it over when I decide. But then the bird ain't gonna jack it from me. <laughs> so what what do we do? What what is it like? Well, a real hand real quick. Well, real quick, Tim. Next time you talk in character, speak up a little bit louder. Oh, I didn't even hear you, Tim. Sorry. Uh, yeah. It's gonna come over and uh, I mean snatch it. It's not trying to like. Okay, it's just like hand. it's just yeah, grabbing. Okay. It. All right, uh, so yeah. Grabs it and then delicately puts it in Zalcori's hand. Okay. And she holds up. What kind of diamond is this? It's a 500 gold piece diamond. She looks at it and she says, This will do. Uh, nice. It's tempted to bear in Moonchow's in this. And she puts <laughs> <"A> diamond. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite line from that movie. So from good. Thurman's line. So uh, good. Uh, Zalcore uh, puts the diamond down and she says, Very well. The black orchid is yours. Uh, oh, she holds it up. The bird uh, grabs it and brings it over to you. You see, this bird right here just looks at you, Kest, with hate filled eyes. Uh, <laughs> this, one, this one bows to you, Cal, as best it can, and it hands you the black orchid. And then it and flies back. I return the bow. And. Yep. Uh, I will put the black orchid in the bag of holding. Okay. Can we casually walk away? Is that what's happening? Yeah. I mean, shit, we got what we came for. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, yeah, so let's bounce, and then I say we look at this middle section. So okay. what's that up? direction? Sorry. Unless anyone has any ideas of murder, but I don't necessarily well, think it's necessary yet. Uh, I'd both say I, I would not suggest murder but it seems in the same I have the, uh, technically I had a capability of possibly stealing the orchid instead of giving away a diamond yeah it's okay sometimes can, yeah yeah we can we, we can uh, deal straight sometimes <laughs> <laughs> if it, if it would have gone the slavery <laughs> it would have gone the slavery route it would have been yeah, some be bloodshed good. but uh, but thankfully she was smart enough to do we want to try and yeah. We want to try and ask her for any more information about the southern area of this map. Go for it. Yeah. All you. Sure. Give it, it to was somebody. My gosh, though. Hey, yeah, I just I would just say we keep the fuck out of here. I mean, it's worth asking. We can always say no if we don't want to pay the cost. Uh, before we depart, my lady, w- would you be willing to part with some information uh, about the, the rest of your domain? She says, of course, my strange creature. What do you wish to know? And she takes on a long trout of her, of her, uh, hookah. Um, well, mostly I think we just want to know if what she knows about this big 
mo this big building in the middle. Or um, she, her, you could see her tense up, and she says, uh, "She says, stay away <laughs> from there." That okay, the, thanks. She says that is the resting place of my theatria. Stay away. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with this term. Uh, what is what is a uh, what is that? Theotea is who's who she's been talking to when not talking to us. Uh, she says Theotea is. She says he is my love, and he never leaves my side. Do you, Theotea? And she looks to her left, and there's. Nothing there. Mm -hmm. Could you put her name in chat as well? Of course. Um, how do you make an accent aigu? Accent aigu um, is tough, yeah. Uh, let's see, the, let's see. What's the ASCII sometimes I, I Sometimes I know something and then I forget. Is it alt, two, three, whatever. Whatever, it's all core. Right. <laughs> Let's forget. Eat. All right, thank you for your time. Uh, she bows to you and she says, thank you, little lovely creature. Uh, I, I go and convey this information to the rest of the group. The That is a resting place for her departed love, and she might not be too fond of us if we uh, go bust in disturbing the dead. <laughs> And this is just going out on a limb here. I'm not a druid, but I bet those birds will tell her if we sneak in. Hi. They're not at us. So if uh, what if Wraith goes invisible again, checks it out. I'm not opposed yeah, to yeah. that. He will make his way around. <laughs> Hugh looks at you and says, I'm uncomfortable here. Everything is... Everything stinks of... of, of bad herbs. It, it smells like a... Like a... Like that's, a hookah pen. That's the lady over here hotboxing her little dome. <laughs> Hugh, you're pretty lucky. And she wanted a beautiful slave, and so you were the obvious pick, but we talked her out of it. <laughs> his, eyes, his eyes go wide. You handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he winks at you. I <laughs> All right. With his good eye. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my vote is Wraith goes uh, invisible. Do we need to distract the bird while he does that? Uh, <laughs> well, I just want to get the, uh, get the census. Is that that's, if that's everyone's request. Then still I shall. weird. It's still weird to me that like these birds seem to be working for her. We just freaking zeroed out five of them, and she has no reaction. She's like, "Cool, yeah, you guys want the black organ? All oh, good, bros. Just don't go yeah. in the middle." Like it just seems fishy as hell to me. I mean, it wasn't all good. We traded a diamond for it. Yeah, but that's, even the fact that she would nothing. trade with us. I know, but I mean, it's just weird. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm. Uh, maybe well, I'm OK, I guess that's fair. Could could I inspect this orchid? Maybe perform an arcana check to see if it's real or an illusion. I can do an arcana check as well. Uh, you uh, if you oh, give me um, <laughs> give me an arcana. Give me two best two best arcanas and your two best nature checks on it. Yeah, go ahead. I'm good at both. <laughs> one, one. It is not a illusion. And your 17 cow will tell you that this is, in fact, a black orchid. Okay, cool. All right. That's a great call, though, Trey. That was a really good yeah. smart that, that was my first roll of the night. If just, just by the way. So great, <laughs> great omen. Uh, got it out of the way. And some like, three net ones for his first couple rolls. <laughs> first three rolls, three net ones for the day. Yeah, Planescapers was like nat one heavy this week, too. Wasn't it? Was, was it this pretty, week or was last pretty, week? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was nuts. All right, uh, cool. Uh, so I'm good. If uh, Wraith, obviously, it's up to you if you want to take the risk. Um, but if it goes down, we got your back. Um, but, uh, you know, we wouldn't be adventurous if we weren't curious about what the fog of war covers. 
I mean, speaking of the fog of war, what do, what do we see down here? Oh, there we go. Just, just another courtyard. Uh, you All see right. more, more of Negalor goes to the south, and you see more of those terraces, uh, uh-huh. more of those plant terraces. Yeah. Well, it, well, it looks like there's some like... stairs going down to nowhere. Where's that? Uh, oh, down into the water. Those go down yeah, southeast one. and west. Those go down into uh, what you can only imagine as some flooded, uh, flooded hallways. It looks like there was oh, okay. some work done to irrigate this place, and then that flooded. Okay. All right. So this is everyone's census is we scout ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's up to you whether you want to do it or not, whether you want to take the risk. It's up. It's totally. If you're like, yeah, consensus is great, but I don't want to do this, then that's cool. I mean, I can go back in and ask her if she, we could like leave an offering and incense for her love Ooh, and see if we can get permission, idea. or I say we sneak in. One of the two. Well, I mean... I don't hate that. You guys can do whatever you want, but I'm going to use my shadow-touched invisibility uh-huh. feet to go invisible. River. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you do that? That could be a decent distraction at the very least, even if she says no. Go say My you know, queen. You can offer your rights of your god or whatever. My queen. She looks. I'm sorry to disturb you yet again. She says yes. Strange creatures. It's obvious. It's obvious. Uh, the height of your reign and your demir, very demir. Uh, that while we're here, we'd love to pay our respects to you and your beloved. Can we go ahead and leave an offering at his rest? Some incense. Uh, give me a persuasion attempt, please. And while we're waiting on that, uh, you said this is a balcony, right? 17. With a plus zero. Wow. Just coming in bare bones. I love it. Uh, she she looks at you, though it's hard to tell what she's looking at. Smokes more of a hookah and she says, I will allow it. Nice. Just this once. What instruments would you prefer that I use? Uh, she snaps her fingers and this bird flies over here again. Uh, she points down this way to the south over here. Oh, okay. Cool. Gentlemen, so, shall we? Yep, I'm going to go this way, though. I'm going to walk along the rocks to here. Uh, in the meantime, just to, while they all do that, uh, so you said this is a balcony? Just coming over, hanging there? Yeah, it's about, that's like five feet. Five feet up from where you're at, right? Okay, so easily climbable? Uh, yes. All right. uh, in my inventory, I have a block of incense I would like to burn. Okay. Let's walk and up first, homie. I will be <laughs> walking up the stairs with a. I lit it pretty obvious for the bird's sake. Now I'm walking up the stairs. Ah, nice. Open the doors. Okay. All right. You open up the door here. Um, one second. You see traces of gold-colored plaster still cling to this dome from the outside in a few spots, but everywhere else you see old weather bricks, more than a few of which have fallen through. The larger-than-life sites, elephant carvings and graceful towering spire are still magnificent, magnificent sights, even if the glory is dimmed by time and decay. Now that you're inside... An 18-foot tall, tall stone statue of a Cholten warrior in splint armor, wearing a helmet festooned with Tyrannosaurus teeth, and bearing a shield of intricately patterned leopard hide, towers over the chamber and looms above a wide octagonal cistern. The chamber echoes with the sound of rainwater dripping from the ceiling into the gate and pit. The face of the giant warrior statue is obliterated by deep gouges, but the rest of the statue remains intact. Clutched in the statue's right hand is a stone spear, and resting on the floor beneath it is a clay urn. North of the statue is an open balcony overlooking a flooded garden. 
You know what that is. Standing to one side of the giant warrior is another statue, this one much smaller. Exquisitely lifelike, it depicts a man reaching for the urn, his face turned toward the balcony. In his lifeless eyes, you see terror. Stone steps ascend along the curved wall to the level of the second floor, but that floor is almost entirely collapsed. It's over here. Someone's been up here there, uh, however, because a message of some sort is scrawled across the dome ceiling. Oh, hell yeah. Cal's going to walk up the side of the dome. Uh, where was this statue you said looked terrified? Right, yeah. Okay, the star. Yeah. To America Shield. Nice. That is the... That is the oldest D&D <laughs> map feature that means statue. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Cal's going to walk up just high enough to be able to read the thing. Um, Cal, you can walk up. Go one second. Ew! Get over here! <laughs> it's like hiding in a bush. Like You guys are crazy. So River, I, I look to River before I head over and say, hey, just continue continue with the uh, the offerings. Perhaps we should be cautious of the, uh, the, the cauldron to earn. So I walk over to uh, it looks the earth urn. Like, it looks to be written, Cal, in uh, Old Omuan. Jesus. Damn, it's written in an old Chultish language. Uh, can I describe as a, it? As a, uh, you describe it. It's a, it's a um, I believe it's cuneiform. So yeah, you describe yeah. it down. What, what language is it? Old what? Old Omuin. Omuin. All right. I'm like using my incense to like saging the area, and uh, I set it down next to the urn, and I'm kind of glancing in the urn as I set it down. The incense next to the urn. What am I? What am I seeing? Uh, I'm so, I'm sorry. Say it again, River. So I'm like saging the room with this incense as it's burning, and I'm. Yeah. I'm walking over to the urn, but I'm going to set it next to the urn closer to the statue. But as I'm doing that, I'm peering inside the urn to see what I see. Okay. Um, one second. Love it. Uh, you open up this urn here and you see, you see Wait. funeral ashes. See what? Uh, ashes. And then as you're looking here, you see that there is scratched onto the floor next to the statue. Uh, there's a, there's more written in Old Omuin. There's a message kind of scrawled onto the ground. All right. I'm going to head that way and write the, that one and the, too. The message, the message next to the sta- the message is actually next to the statue, as okay. in it's definitely in reference to the statue. Got it. You scribe that one down as well? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely in, in um, cuneiform script. Yes. Okay. You scroll those down. Very cool. All right. Uh, give me a perception investigation check while you're doing all this. Two bats from the group. Uh, I got investigation. Perception plus six. Yeah, yeah plus, plus seven. Six. Perception is not good. Nice. Oh, you guys are good. Go for it. Yikes. Oh, that's, my, that that's one. Who's got a plus six or better than that? Perception. Well, we, that's our best two. Perception investigation. 18? Oh, I thought 18? four. Okay. Is that 18? Yeah. Yeah. 18. Yeah. Uh, Tunk, you kind of, as you're kind of looking over here, you see it does start to rain. And as the droplets hit the cistern over here, you see that there are, in fact, swarms of snakes. Oh, why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> <laughs> because Wraith the defender, defender of snakes is here. That's Hard. right. But it does look at that that goes down about 15 feet before it hits the water. Okay. We should leave. We're invisible, so we're just going to... Oh, they're, they're, they're just hanging out off the bottom. They're not going to bother us. We just won't go in the water. Once... Here, I think I do have. If we have ten minutes, I can ca- I can cast ritual cast comprehend language. I mean, this this seems like a good minutes. use of that. I'm oh, willing to wait like ten exactly minutes. That, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna whoop out uh, legacy. 
comprehend yeah. languages. <laughs> is it different than the, than the new one? I don't know. I, I actually didn't notice anything different, but I could double check. Some spells have no difference at all. Some spells like Cure Wounds does 2d8 now. Healing Word does 2d4. Just big changes. Yeah. Nice. nice. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah. Right, comprehend languages. Here's the new one. Let me see. It looks very much the same. I think that's the same. Yep. OK. So I can walk all the way up to the one on the ceiling and touch it, but I also scribed it so I can just touch the paper, right? Uh, you touch both these, the the um, image up top here. As you see, like this part is crumbly. It would be, it would be dangerous if you couldn't walk up there, Cal. Yeah. Uh, but up top, you see, up top in Old Moon, it says, true love, faithful general, safe will you rest in Nangalore eternal. None will disturb you while I live. Such is my vow of penance, and for my sins I cannot die. And then the message next to the uh, statue there, it says in Old Moon, once a thief, forever a slave. Mm. Oh, that's so, bad vibes. So. so don't try to steal the urn of ashes. Check. And then as to punctuate the crash of lightning on one of the birds just kind of flies and lands lens right there staring at you sub <laughs> well um, i will definitely take we're just it. trying to wait out the rain man just t chill i've i've seen enough <laughs> <laughs> you hackerstone gets out a fishing pole and throws it in the cistern <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't, I mean, maybe we'll find something out later where it's like, oh, you need the the ashes of Thirutaya Thir to summon the whatever, but like, we don't have that quest yet, so I'm down to like, leave it. There's probably something inside the ashes, too, but. I, I mean, if, 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 if y'all just want to start combat, we, we can do that. No, 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 but I, I have a I have an idea for for that scenario. I, I don't feel super compelled. I mean, I feel like we got what we needed. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't feel compelled to start a fight either, <laughs> but let's see. So the Black Orchid, well, you can go back to Ashara and cure the ball and turn it in. Um, and then that's like our proving our worth to her. Okay. You what you doing, what you doing, Ray? We, we invest, where, where did Ray um, go? Uh, so yeah, yeah, so well, since no one can see me, since I'm invisible, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna obviously go back to the entrance. I'm going to obviously, I'm gonna release the invisibility for that I appear. You hey, I, I have a question. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Tim. While we were waiting oh, 10 yeah. minutes for uh, John to cast that ritual spell, how long does it take me to prepare a different spell? Is that like a long rest, short rest thing? Or could that's 10 minutes? Really. That's a long rest, short rest thing. Like at least short rest. It's a long yeah. rest thing. Okay. Yeah, like like I have, like, like there's a, oh, I think it's actually in the new rules. There's a few things in the new rules where if you use your short rest, you could potentially change stuff. But yeah, it's pretty restricted. That's a long rest thing, yeah. Okay. Um, Wraith, what are you doing? So, just going to take a step in and yeah. conversation with uh, what's her name? Like, she turns to you and she says, My, my, I am to speak to all of you, strange creatures. <laughs> what can I assist you with? I did not appear before as I remain vigilant, but something was discovered that brought me concern. We found a message. Once a thief, forever a slave. Is there something that binds you where you may not rest? Uh, she stands up from her divan and she says, what you speak of is none of your business. 
Is that not the right, Thirutaya? Yes, he agrees. You speak out of turn. You dare to insult your queen? My intention is not to insult. I am the breaker of chains. I set those restrained free. It is not my business. But if something binds you here that prevents an internal rest with those that you love, uh, she says, I am offering my assistance. She says, I am bound here by my unending beauty. It will never die, nor shall I. And those that have displeased me have become mine forever. Well, then, the choice is yours. If you decide different, you know where to find us. I'll just back out. Uh, you see her. You see her just go, just smoke some more and go back on her, on her divan as you step out. <laughs> All right. Figure I tried. Uh, Hugh turns to you as you enter a wraith, and he goes, and he's just fishing with his one arm, and he goes, Is it my turn to go inside and talk to the strange? <laughs> to the witch? No. Oh, you. Good luck, Hugh. I uh, recommend it. I, it seems, I mean, do it. I told you, she wants you as a slave. our assistance. <laughs> so w w what is the consensus here? W w I said we just bounce and go to Kirsabal. We can always come back. It's not like this place disappears. I'm gonna give you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a milestone. Oh, yay! I mean, I was uh, wait. I, I was waiting for that. If he, I was thinking to myself, if he doesn't give us a milestone when we leave, no. we missed it's something. I think. It, I think it feels like you all have done it. You have a black orchid. That's a milestone. All right. Wow. One second. That's gonna be fourteen. You need just 14, just 15. out of curiosity, how detailed is this statue? Like. This, the big one? Yeah, the big one. Big one is... Um, the face is destroyed, right? The face is destroyed. Yeah, there's, there's parts it. of it that are very old. Very, very old. Um, uh, I was going to ask, how possible is it to disguise self based on a statue? But if the face is destroyed, there's no point. Um, uh, let's see. I I'm mean, a traumatized for a slave, of... So, I mean, if you wanted to... Uh, disguise yeah, if you're trying to make her mad... <laughs> We're like trying to get a pistol. Oh well, more, yeah, like, more. How, what, like, what are we trying to get from her? I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what they're trying to get. Let's go. You're like I, video I, gaming I, right now. You're like, we gotta, we gotta unlock everything. I, I mean, I'm with you. I, I feel like we got what we needed. Well, let's just bounce. Yeah. You guys bouncing? All right, I'm gonna let's grab, bounce. I'm gonna grab you all. Don't move. Don't move. Actually, I don't need. Don't really need to do this. You guys can long rest right outside of Mangalore and continue your journeys. It does continue to rain. Um, I'm gonna pull us out. Back to Charles. As a as a complete side note, it's been roughly about an hour, so I don't know what break time is. Oh yep, yeah, we are at the oh. hour two minutes. We got forty seconds for pre roll. All right, let's take a five minute break, everybody. Yeah, good enough. Okay, great. Good enough. Um, I mean, welcome, welcome back, back everybody. everybody. Welcome back. The Tozi presents Tomb Annihilation Thursdays. Uh, the crew has just left the Hanging Gardens of Bangalore. If you saw some ads, that means you're not subscribed to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. And it's September, which means uh, one month and three month subs are 25% off, and six month subs, recurring subs, are 30% off. So that's not a bad deal. So oh. for six months would be great. Or give, or give some subs. It's also nice. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's continue. Where are we at? Cool. Uh, I, I vote we go back to Kirsten Ball and keep that quest line going with Ashara. Okay. I mean, this yeah. is a, again, you have a ranger. Very yep. possible to have a ranger. On hex crawls, hey, rangers are good. Um, yep. Okay. So instead of 9d20, I need 5d20. From. Kenny. Kenny, you there? 5d20. 
Give me 5d20, please. All right, here we go. Oh, goodness. That 20 should be interesting. Oh, my God. Okay, hold on a second. I, I never know if we want to roll high or low for these. What's either way? So either very high or very low is the only thing that happens, I think. Or, or it's just very high. I can't remember. Listen, just, it's just it's the mystery of random encounters. Okay. I want you in a perpetual state of confusion. That's what I want. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Mission. He's honest about it. If you, <laughs> yeah. uh, can I get you to roll me two d one hundred, please? Me? Yes, please, Kenny. Uh, thirty-three ninety-five. Okay, I'm gonna check a couple things. Well, can I get you to roll me another D one hundred plates? This situation, I always feel like we're the family on on a family feud, where it's like we don't know where it's gonna end up. Good, good roll, good roll, good roll. Good, roll. <laughs> so, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> the, younger no brother, after the youngest brother just says something inane. Just ridiculous. Yeah, you're like, good oh answer. god, who brought him? <laughs> <laughs> Although with Richard Dawson, it was a lot, lot more of that than with Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey just calls people out. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Man, you asked me on YouTube. Whatever <laughs> response, like. Uh, okay, one second, let me check one thing. The puppy. Who's got a puppy? puppy. Doing that? Oh my goodness, it looks so much like my olive, it's so funny. Look at the puppy! You puppy? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, I got mm -hmm. a puppy. Avoid puppy. puppy. Avoid puppy. Uh, that looks actually looks like a blinking dog. Hey, oh, like it's like in, it's out. <laughs> a oh, blinking okay. dog. I, I'm not even paying attention that much. Blink dog yeah. is a monster in, in uh, DD, guys. That's, yep. that's, a blink, that's a blink dog. Uh, okay. Uh, you are Kenny, you are about to step. You're like going through the jungle here, and you're about to step like to the right of the path a little bit, and you almost slip down a gigantic fall into a ravine where there's just a torrent of just hordes of undead streaming about a long in a large large gorge mm. uh, and then a were tiger's hand hits your chest and you see uh boye Zotamu, and he looks at you and he says you almost fell be wary of your step and then boye Zotamu uh Assist you and he guides you and the rest of your party. Oh, back. yeah. Here's the ball. All right. Hey. Uh, you make it back to Cures the Ball. Mm -hmm. Woo. Uh, tons of. Uh, okay. You've long rested, so now you're back in Cures the Ball. Now I can change some spells. It's still raining. It's still raining. It's one of those jungle, jungle monsoons. Just won't stop. Good question, DM. Um, I noticed there's some spells in here that don't say legacy, but I don't remember seeing them in the past. If they don't say, oh, what's the spell? Uh, it was a cantrip called Starry Wisp. I think that's new. That's I new. Yeah. Okay. That's and new. it's the same, but it's also the same thing with my Wither and Bloom that I had in the past. It's still there. It doesn't say legacy or anything. Maybe it hasn't changed at all. Post it. Let's see. Post it. Let's yeah. see if it's, uh, it's the same. Sure. Uh, do, 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 do. With it and moves. Uh, here you go. This is where I get very good at identifying what's in our past game and what's yep. the new oh, game. Wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> Part of it. I did the wrong thing. Hold on. 
display. Right. Let's see. Um, just go to show advanced filters, switch category core rules. Um, spell name is Wither. It's like only one. Yeah, I never messed with that one at all. Wither and Bloom is not like in. That's pretty cool. Wither and Bloom is not in the next. It's not in the next. Uh, it will be gone. Okay. It's not in the next uh, edition. Yeah. It's At least not yet. There'll be some more spot books. Um, yeah. yeah. You can use this one. Yeah. Oh. I'm fine with it. Yep. That's okay. weird that it doesn't mark it as legacy. Yeah, yeah. Notice that, though? It's, some things are marked and some things... I think some things are marked as legacy if there's a new... If it's a newer patch. Yeah, I was going to say, because it's from Strixhaven. Wither and Bloom yeah. from Strixhaven. So there's no and I newer one. They like, just, we don't want to make your book useless. So we'll pretend that it's still okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hate us for making you buy books and then making them all useless. Oh, dude. Yeah. Um, anyway, carry on. Cool. We're at uh, ball. You can still you can still use Within Boom for now. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Uh, you guys make it to Kirsten Ball. One second. All right. So we go to talk to Ashara about the uh, so the uh, Black Orchid. Here's your flowers. Bing, bing. Uh, Ashara comes down and, and accepts the black orchid. She says, she says, you have done well in retrieving that which was arduous. Tell me, what did you see in the hanging gardens? Uh, uh, tell her about Z- Zelcore or Zalor. God, I already forgot her Zalcore, name. Zelcore, yeah. Zelcore, yeah. Uh, she, if you say that, she says yes. And it is true. She still lives. Mm, unclear. Uh, she seems that she, whether or not she lives or is unliving, <clears throat> is, is a bit unclear. But she is there, and she does still converse with Thirutera, Taya, um, though he doesn't seem present. Uh, she says, uh, Ashar says, very well. Then I will tell you what has stricken my people. We are beset by a menace from the east. An island known as the Dawn Warrior carries with it a beast on wings. A dragon eats my Aragora. What color is the dragon? It is green. Green as its poisonous maw. It spews vile ichor and chokes the life out of my birds. If I am to do the dance of the seven winds, I will use this orchid you have earned my trust, but I need this thing slain. Then I will dance, and I will give you my wings. How big is this dragon? It is very large. Guys, I don't know if we can fight a fully grown dragon yet. She looks at you and she says, I do not know if you can fight a fully grown dragon yet. <laughs> um, I mean, why do, why do we remind, why do we need her wings? She says, she says she will give you the location of Omu and cast and perform the ritual of the dance of the seven winds. Got it. To give you wings. You don't know what that means. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. So she'll be able to send us to Omu, presumably. Okay. Um, I guess show us on the world map where the green dragon is or lives. <laughs> okay, one second. It's literally to the island to the east. Oh, is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my bad. She says, uh, if you are to go, if you are to find the screen menace of the Dawn Warrior, you must be careful. He. Uh, one second. One second. 
So is the dragon called Dawn War or is the island? The dragon is known as Vernacrameth. Uh, uh, she, sorry, Vernac makes her lair there. And she guards it. She flies and scouts her Dawn Warrior. You will need the cover of ancient magic. In the place known as Port Castiglia, there lies a font of incense. I have seen it in the winds, in my bones. Find this, and you may use it as cover to reach the Dawn Warrior. I believe we have already recovered this incense. You show it to her? Yep. Yeah. Her eyes go wide and she says, Amazing. I give you a quest and you finish it immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> You're hired. I told you once before that we were to be trusted. Either hunk before. and the hunky junks are are very powerful indeed. <laughs> that is a, a, another for that hunk and the junky hunks. <laughs> oh, junky <laughs> hunky, hunky junks! junks is even so better. better. <laughs> now we're the hunky junks. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh cringes. <laughs> Tunk and the hunky junks. <laughs> Tunk and the hunks of junk. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that, it's, it's, oh, that is absolutely your name now. This is this oh is my God. this is just an indication of how bad I am with names. I can't even remember our own group name when that's, I am in the title. Oh my god. This is why genius. Why that, that, it's like the elephant the elephant <laughs> game where you keep whispering and it just changes and more. Oh yeah, the yeah. elephant game, yeah. Hunk and the Hunky Junks is absolutely the best name in the world. I mean, we literally here in Florida have a company that's called College Hunks hauling junk. Nice. <laughs> is, that, is that a moving is that a movers company? It, it's a moving company, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. In in Orlando. That's that's great. Please tell me it's done by like male strippers. I mean, no, it's literally just like young guys like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Well, it's kind of a respectable company. <laughs> uh, what do you do? You have the Mesro and incense. So, you guys want to go fight a dragon? Oh, boy. What do we know about fighting dragons? Well, so, so what I would suggest Poison. to the party is if. Obviously, I would definitely suggest her next stop would be the Dawn Warrior. However, she she I, will also she will also give you as uh, she will give you two potions of two potions of poison resistance. She says, "Use these wisely." So, what I was going to suggest is. We either go back to Port Anzaru and just resupply up with everything that we could possibly think that could help us and basically just restock and then go to the Dawn Warrior is my is what I would say. I wonder if we need to go all the way back there. Maybe Bway is to just cook us up some uh, could hook us up some potions. I mean, either or. I mean, that's that just, is over. Is just restock, then go. That is that is a large swath of water there, uh, and but the uh, but they will fly you out there. That is a good I, 160 miles of flying. I was about to say I don't think our canoes could make that trip. But here's the thing. But she said that the dragon patrols and does eat the air croca. So I'm just worried about us flying over there and then getting caught in the air and then just ends badly. The the Mesro and incense will will protect you. And it effectively spirit walks you. We're in the spirit world, <laughs> asshole. <Every time. laughs> I can't resist, dude. It's one of my I know, favorite yeah. lines Every of time, any like, movie ever. <laughs> so good. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, either that or we lay in wait for the dragon to come attack some Maricocra. But yeah, if we have the incense, let's fly over that biatch. Do we have access to dragon bane, uh, some kind of dragon bane poison for... for Wraith to coat his arrows. <laughs> we can talk to Blaze. We could talk to Blaze. He might have some. Blaze might have something, and Portney and Zaro might have some. Yeah, yeah. We well, got to get so, so far. <laughs> okay, maybe we can find somebody who's been there so we can get some information about this this place. 
Uh, so well, sounds like a dragon lives there. The recon we can get. <laughs> if, if a I dragon lives see. there, I presume no one goes there and survives. I mean, maybe there's some old crazy man who's been there. I remember that time. Or something. Uh, we have the old crazy man of our party. He's one of the yeah, but he didn't. He hasn't been there. Are we gonna ask him. Have you been? <laughs> we need a fishmonger with his tails. You need a fishmonger to tell you tales of what? Of the dragon. How to defeat the dragon? That's what I mean. She sounds. She, she gave you poison. <laughs> she says it breathes poison. Yeah. Uh, and it's big. What could go wrong, guys? What could go wrong? <laughs> I mean, a lot. So yeah, much, but all the things. I mean, uh, if you no. say, if you say you want to wait it out, she will say that the dragon. She says Vanak never comes personally. She sends her servants. And what what birds fly through the air? She grabs on occasion, but she never comes oh. to the spot and kills them all. Well, how many how many servants are we enough to fight off? She has broodlings. I do not know. Does the dragon have acid for blood? Uh, no. <laughs> That's black dragons, Etherine. No, no, no they oh. neither, neither, none of them do. <laughs> That's right. Okay. That's a great idea. Look, you say that, and I say like, Psh, that's ridiculous. That's a great idea for a creature. A dragon with and, acid blood. Yeah. And now, and now it's happening. Now it's happening. It's a tiny it's little head that comes out and chews stuff. Yeah. <laughs> there was one truth in trade where someone made a joke about crag dragons, and I was like, and I made, I was went along with it, but after 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 it, I was like, it's a great idea for a dragon. Nope. A dragon that spews. Avalanches? Hell yeah. It's like those, uh, those, the, I can't remember what fiction. Oh, yeah, it's from like, uh, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. They have those, those worms that, that come up and throw rocks at you from yeah. as they Hell tunnel yeah. underground and shit like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, like All right. I'm totally down. Yeah, seriously, though, dragon. like, what are our better options here? Do we go for the dragon or do you have, we have a better option? I mean, we have another quest. We have another and? quest, at least one. And that is to try and get the skull chalice of Chikagare. So that's another thing we could do. Well, and not to get too metagamey, but how many milestones are we away from a level up? We need one more for a level up. We should probably. We can, we can, we, and that is the only go? reason I want to go get the, the chalice first now. So the chalice, the, uh, Princess Moxanari has asked you to get the chalice from Omu. Omu, so we need to know the location of Omu first. Uh, it's a chain. Oh. Summon a beach. Spit. I say we do it, guys. We can fucking do this. I'm, I'm down to gear up first. Yeah. I would I would rather just go to Buez, not all the way back to Port Nianzaru, because you know as soon as we go back there, it's going to be like 14 other cans of Mountain Dew to open up. Like, oh, by the way, you could go to this quest, or you can go to this quest, and we're going to get all distracted. Uh, Tunk so. will definitely try to drag you to the Coliseum. Yeah, I mean, so, so like, I mean, like, yeah, no, my vote is obviously step first step is go visit our, our, our friend the wreck at a minimum. And then if he doesn't have what we need, consider Port Nazaro. But if we can get what we feel confident, then head straight to the dock. <laughs> I'm good with that. Okay. You guys are you guys trying to make it back to the wreck of the narwhal? Wreck of the narwhal. Yep. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. I mean, the good thing is you don't have to worry about poison. All right. I mean, well, re real, uh, some while we're doing all this traveling, Tunk is changing some of his magical infusions. OK, uh, I am. For example, I am making my half plate armor poison resistant. Ooh, can you make my half plate armor poison? Resistant? Uh, I, I can only do one. I can only do one at a time in the time. OK, that's fine. OK. I, I think wonder how that, I wonder well, how that looks as a. I, as well, a, now uh, I'm actually not sure. That's true. I mean, yeah, what does that look like? Is a technological, a techno would, magic resistance or a, would we make something poison resistant? It just it would just be like airtight, like it would. It yeah, would, yeah, yeah. It'd be it like a wet suit. Air. It has yeah. its own air circular circulation system inside of it. I That's have cool. protection from poison as a second level. I could touch three dudes gently. Um, appropriately. This, this yeah, yeah. might have to be a DM call. You guys are talking about Arachnogator and Spokadiles. Those are things in the game. <laughs> yes, those are things. Oh, God. 
this is what happens. We speak in it into existence. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm cool with you. So, Tunk, get all your lists out to to Tozi, and then we can do Boyas. Uh, we can do travel. I, I'm, I'm not. Th- there's a there's a lot to read about infusing. Glancing over it, I don't see anything that says I can't use the same infusion multiple times as long as I account for my maximum number of infusions. I think you can make multiple things at the same time. No reason, yeah. So I, I'm willing to give up one of my three infusions to give someone else poison resistant armor. But I, I'm bank I need my signet ring to refuel a spell slot. Yep. Yeah. Wait, so just to make sure we're not going to make a, like a huge mistake here or anything else. Uh, isn't the bag is the bag of holding one of your infusions or no? No, the, that was something I create and then it was done. OK, just want to make sure that we're not going to like mess something up by. Well, that'd be hilarious. The we're, bag we're, holding we, we got those two potions of poison resistance, right? Yep. I have three charges of protection from poison, which essentially gives you poison resistance. Yep. And then I have the, poison. I have poison resistance. Yeah. So, I mean, and I think we have more than enough to at least be resistant to poison during the encounter. Well, yeah, that's I just, what I just want to at least check out. in with ways to see yeah, oh yeah, for sure. if there's like, something yeah. like, oh, you know, poison is great, but also blah, 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 blah. Yep. Yep. No, hundred yeah. percent. Just as a, was, that's, as a resource, that's the way I have Yeah, totally. I also have a spell called protection from poison. That's so I neutralize that's what I, or that's what I have. Yeah. yeah. So we're good on resistance. I think we don't necessarily need to buy any more potions, but I think maybe getting some intel or, or maybe some hints on the age of the dragon. Yes. Okay. Like this is an ancient green dragon. We're like, okay, too bad we can't go. Uh, well, that's what I was trying to figure out when I asked how big the dragon was. Yeah. Um, I, I will. I'll give you more, more information. Wasn't uh, that nice of you, God? <laughs> <laughs> you are my creations. Uh, Eric Cockra lady, how, how how many generations have have been telling stories about this dragon? Uh, 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 there are many stories. It can get older, bigger, but for now, it passes as an adult. Adult, great. Okay. <laughs> so not ancient. That's good. It's a, it is good. it's a proper dragon. All right, so <laughs> go, going back to going back to the infusion discussion. So nobody wants to claim poison no, resistant use, arm. No, use I, your I, thing, I or unless someone else does. But yeah, I would say use use it. I would say use it for what you need it to, because we have other ways of getting poison resistance. Okay, that's my that's my vote. Um, and finally, as far as my spells go, since I have less spell slots than the cleric and the druid, I will not be preparing poison protection from poison. That makes sense. Cool. Okay. Protection from poison is not a not a concentration spell. No, it's okay. not. But I only have two level two slots. Mm-hmm. And I I already have a plan. Plan. I just, I just have to hope that uh, someone cooperates. <laughs> but I'm not going to say who because it'll be funnier in the moment if they, they don't know it's coming. What do you want me to do? Dress in drag and do the hula? No, it's not you, Tim. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Are we making the flight? What are we doing? Yeah, I mean, we're no, we're going to Boyes first. Yeah, yes. we're going to Boyes. You're just going to straight up uh, walk to Boyes. Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. going to the wreck of the narwhal first. We're just talking about like on that travel. Uh, Tunk is getting his his infusion squared away, and we're talking about how we're going to survive a green dragon. This is going to be. Well, let me do that again. And then it turns out Eric Hawker are colorblind, and it's actually a blue dragon. That would be oh fucking God. genius. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't know. <laughs> God damn it, I wish I'd done that. Oh, man. <laughs> we thought it was that's green. Genius. Uh, that's a so three. Funny. I need River. River, can you roll for me, please? Do I know if Eric Hawker are colorblind? <laughs> uh, but I mean, now they are moving forward. That's amazing. <laughs> now they only well, see. I think, I think they only see green and blue. I think we talked. Didn't we? What do birds uh, see? 
Thorazin is asking if resistances stack. I don't think they do. No, they don't. Uh, it's only me, uh, it's on me, or off. Let me eight more d20s, please, River. Uh, I, th- I think the only thing that stacks is your your uh, saving throw can stack onto your resistance to quarter, yeah, and that's, that's it. it. Don't, yeah, resistances don't stack. <laughs> Try it again, Nick. <laughs> Damn it. That's all right. <laughs> I know you're trying. That's Are you killing us right now, Nick? What's happening? Oh, Nick. I, forward, forward slash what? NR. <laughs> oh, God. What is this? Oh, Trey, I think, oh. Trey, I think you need to scroll down a bit on the... Uh, to you see can, what can just roll happening. the roller if you want. There, there There's you go. six, and here's two more. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Can you roll for me? Those are shitty rolls. Can you roll for me 2D 100, please? Go ahead. 53, 59. Fantastic. Hold, hold, please. Good rolls. Good rolls. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good guess. Oh my god. (sighs) And you are now assaulted by a blue dragon. Yeah. (laughs) What the hell? Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. May God have mercy on your souls. <laughs> Thanks for killing us, Nick. Appreciate it. Doing my part. Doing my part. Doing my part. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> One second, guys. Hell yeah. Can, yeah, once once you're ready, I want to see if there's any skill worlds I can make to try and get as much information on green dragons as I can remember from my studies. Uh, you can make that make that roll right now. Go ahead. Is it history? Uh, make it history or arc, or arcana. Go okay. ahead. Either way. That'll work. Yeah. I know green yeah. dragons. Hey, green dragons. Green dragons are typically a manipulative type of dragon that like to infiltrate humanoid societies. Uh, they are an evil dragon. Um, they are. They breathe poison dr- breath. Um, they are more of a conniving type of dragon. But this one you've heard about is. Uh, it's strange that it hasn't made itself apparent, or it hasn't attacked directly. Some some of them do attack. Directly, or at least make themselves known directly. Uh, so something's a little, something's a little odd with this one. Um, what about like, like, so it's immune to poison. Immune to poison. Um, Freeze poison. Any oh, sense on like what their abilities are? If it's an adult, then you know that it has legendary resistances, probably legendary actions, okay. wing oh attacks, tail, claw, bite, <laughs> all, all sorts of nasty dragons. Ah, uh, boy. How do they infiltrate human society? Do they like wear a disguise and then like a face? They, be, they can become people. Yeah, dragons are dope that way. Yeah. It's like one of the greatest like tropes in fantasy is like the character that you've been rolling with the entire time turns out to be a dragon. Yeah, that happens. They did that in the in the uh, 50th anniversary playthrough with uh, with uh, Carlac and Asterion and Brendan Lee Mulligan in that they were they pulled the, pulled it out oh, of the hat. That's pretty nice. cool. Um, but cool. Okay, so then basically, standard big bad has legendary attack saves, tail claw bite, presumably some kind of wing buffet yes. or something like that. Okay. All that. All right. Stuff. Uh, hold on one second. Something's happening. I'm gonna say there's a little wet out here, so I'm gonna put get rid of that. I just share that with everybody, so we can all be scared. <clears throat> Wraith is unfazed. I... Trust me, I was trapped in a way by a vampire lord for thousands of years. I do not fear. Uh, can I get... Are you going to be worried that... Are you going to consider this dragon a snake and then we're going to have to, like, befriend it somehow? I'm not saying that's not a possibility. 
I mean, look, if he can befriend the dragon, I, I think that's a win. I'm not, I'm not so much worried about him successfully defending the dragon. I'm worried about all of us getting murdered while he tries. <laughs> <laughs> that's mostly I'm, what I'm worried about. Oh, I think if anyone's going to get us killed by trying stupid stuff, it's going to be Tunk. You know, he's, he's got that bloated sense of ego right now. I mean, listen, if Thoradin, I've, I've literally done, tried to kill him off and failed. If he could survive. Tozzi's a very kind DM. What are you talking about? Thoradin should have been dead 14 times. <laughs> no, you you got lucky, too. I saved you, like, at least twice. <laughs> With cows. <laughs> I saved you on the bridge, and there was a couple other times. I, Definitely like, plenty yeah. of times. I could have killed you if I wanted to. Um, no. But, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, Thorazin's bringing up. Uh, Thorazin's printing up a Thorazin, pretty good point yeah. of uh, perhaps the needle of the dead was a green dragon. Was its possible like spouse Ooh. or lover? Oh, that's Jeez. right. Yeah, needles bones. Uh, you guys are making camp by a pond, not a pond, a river, uh, a roaring river. You're making camp one night when suddenly the bushes explode and black and green carapist scor night scorpions ambush you. Yeah, okay. Feet come off the floor. <laughs> 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 One second. Damn it, Nick. <laughs> hate it when my bush ex explodes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a potent use of the bush. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> <no thing. laughs> That's what's coming after you. Where are we? That that place. Is scurry. Uh, you can oh. put yourselves. You can kind of put yourselves before we begin, uh, because your passive perceptions do see these things. Um, uh, put yourselves in like that rectangle, wherever you think you want to be. Wherever you want to start, wherever you're kind of like up here. <laughs> oh, wait. Possible. I forgot who I am. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, Tong or Sheldon needs oh. to go off to the side for yeah, a minute. Take, take off a Dean, too. Oh, thank you. All right. I need to update my token because I now have I have a new AC. Uh, you are. You are naked or not. You don't have your armor on. Spit. What? Hold on, hold on. I, unless you unless you can sleep in heavy armor or medium or heavy armor. What if you don't need to sleep? If you don't what if your sleep? armor is physically attached to you? Yeah, you uh, might be the only that's one. not me. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, can I get? Can I get? Actually, who who would take the watches? Who takes second watch? God, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't. Guess then who else? Well, uh, I'm I mean, a, I'm an elf. You like half sleep, right? Yeah, so River, River, I'll say you're you're awake. You see this? Um, who else? Oh God! Else, who else is awake? I mean, uh, you don't have to sleep. You're good. Yeah, I don't God, need to sleep. Hughes, Hughes on the ground asleep. Yeah, yeah, so Cal. Like Cal, Cal apparently, Dampiers need to sleep. So I'm in my coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, you're underneath the rock. <laughs> yep, right? exactly. Uh, buried like uh, what's his face? Um, That's right. Like Vampire Hunter D. Great. Exactly. Uh, and then, Tunk, are you asleep? Are you good? Mm, yeah, I'm asleep. I, I'm, I'm not an armorer, so I don't have magic armor. Not that kind of magic armor. Okay, these things are upon you. <sighs> Everybody click your tokens and roll initiative, please. Dude, Great. rough. Do we roll initiative if we're asleep? Yeah. Oh, did we do it at a disadvantage? Cause, uh, oh, God. That's uh, you still roll, just to see where you're going. Basically. Okay. That's going to be a 29. And it's a, is it a minute to put on armor or 10 minutes? It is. It depends. Medium depends armor. Medium is like five minutes. It's five minutes. Yeah, it takes a long time. Uh, yeah, it's five minutes to put on. It's one minute to take off. Yeah. <clears throat> Heavy armor is 10 minutes and five minutes. Jeez <laughs> Louise. There's a lot. Of, it's a big montage. Big rocky. Big, you know, rocky. Uh, it's like you know, uh, you know, Thor is in. Th this would be. This is a good time to start upgrading a monster or two. I'm just what saying. Are you doing? Oh God! I rolled really high. Oh God! They're gonna freaking light us up. I mean, he's not oh, gonna. God. He's not gonna do it, John. He's saving for the 50k. I know. I hope so. 
Okay. I'm just saying, if I was going to do it, this is what I would do. It was when half of us aren't wearing armor. Because it's okay. funny that way. Wraith, it is your that's, turn. That's one way to solve the ver which version of the rules we use. Just kill everybody. <laughs> <laughs> New campaign. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got this. They're just, they're just, they're just bugs. We got this. Just bugs. It's all good, bro. It's totally good. Wraith, it is your turn. What do you want to do, Wraith? All right. Um, People are sleeping. What do you want to do? <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming, how are these like cliffs coming up here? Down? Uh, not terribly. Five feet, ten feet, ten feet okay. the most, ten feet. All right. So, gosh darn it. All right. So, I guess at least move down that direction. Gonna obviously yell out, you know, ambush, and then take some pot shots. Everybody's awake, <laughs> but still. All right, so let's take its uh, first shot. Oh, that's not smoke. Pride. There we go. That is a hit. Which one are you hitting? The uh, lowest one. Which one? Just this one down here. All right, that, you hit it for five. So that's one shot. Two shots. Another hit. Come on. Yeah. There might be a delay there. Uh, just in case. Sure. That's nine points damage. Third shot is going to be a net one. <laughs> That's a net one. Okay. Then... They come. Oh, goodness. Right here they come. Uh, one does make it to U-Tongue. Some of these are actually dashing in, so you get three coming in. These are all dashing. Tunk, you are getting attacked, and Wraith, you're getting attacked a whole bunch. I've started a prediction. Go yes, go gamble your points to see if to whether or not somebody dies. Or drops? Probably not going to die, but it might drop. Here comes six attacks on you, Wraith. All right, well, we'll... we'll... Oh, my God! Oh, uh, okay. Oh, oh. I mean, <laughs> I'm the one's armor. Yeah. So why, why not? Uh, that's these are just the that's uh three eight and fourteen damage total, I think. And then here comes some stingers. Oh, oh my God! That's a crit. Uh, Wraith, give me a con. What the hell, man? Save. Give me a con save. <laughs> Uh, is this against poison? It is against poison. Then I have advantage. Okay, Ooh. go ahead. Me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't have it yet. They can't help you. No, I don't. Okay, you're blinded, Wraith. This thing blinds you. Yeah. Uh, you're not You're not paralyzed, because this thing, this night scorpion uh, stuff doesn't Which blind you. Which one did it do him? This one right here. You take 22 piercing and seven poison from him, though. Jesus, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I resist poisoning. So how much poison would that be? Uh, you resist. So uh, 22 piercing and seven poison. I already did it for you. Oh, you already did Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Uh, <laughs> guys? <laughs> Five yeah. health. Glug they get out to heal so fast. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. Cal, it's your Good morning. turn. <laughs> All right. Uh, Cal's going to drop a fucking fireball because yeah, you are. Hell not. Um, all right. So I will do. Give me the thing, but here's the roll. <coughs> 30 damage. I like the sound of that. Yep. I'm going to get the three up above me ish. Let's see where you put that. That is yours. Put that where you want. Up there. Oh, not on you. There we go. <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> it's right uh, there. Big fireball to hit all three of them. Okay, cool. Here comes deck saves. You see 15 decks. One, yep. two, three. Fail, jerks. That's one save. Press fail. Yes. This one top six, 15 points of damage. Press these boys take 30. All right. They are beefy scorpions, though. Over here. All right. Uh, that's, I think that's it for me. Tunk, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, God. 
I... I'm just gonna step closer to Kest. I'm going to use my action to summon the turtle tank. Okay. A very special variation of it. Yes. Uh... And then anyone in that circle gets seven temp HP. Nice. Oh, I'm not gonna have the roll. Don't don't, don't do the roll for that. Just make it four. Everyone okay. gets nine. Nine. Everyone gets nine HP. Just okay. have it all be you roll four. How big is the circle? It's the circle that he's in, ten feet from Sheldon. I don't see a circle. That's weird. I don't uh, see a circle. I got oh, you, I don't. Man. I got you. Now you should. Okay, there we go. Seven HP. Ten. So cast me and Wraith. Cool. Okay. Uh, uh, and yes, okay, cool. All right, it's Hugh's turn. Ah! <laughs> he jumps up. <laughs> uh, Hugh is in. Did you guys give him? No, he's in. He's in hide armor. He's going to jump over. He's going to block. He'll jump over here. Oh. And he will be smart, and he will take the dodge action. Nice. Cast, it's your turn. Call lightning on. Uh, can I do it on the outside of these two so it doesn't hit like over here, yeah. so it doesn't hit Wraith? Yeah. Okay, I want to. Yeah, I want to do it so it just hits those two from this angle. Okay, here comes the next stage. Uh, roll me. Uh, no, it was. It's bad out, so you get you get maximum damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, another, another D10. Yep. Dex, Dex. Uh, 14s. Fail, fail. Pew, pew. Uh, 19 points of electricity damage to both of them. Sweet. And now I will become a giant constrictor snake. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. What? Stupid mm. anacondas. Giant constrictor snake. Bloop. Blah. That's what I like. I'm a snake. <laughs> Cast your snake. Dog agrees. I, I, I don't. I don't have control yet. Uh, one second. The snake. Uh, <laughs> now you do. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of squeeze them right squeeze them between those guys. <laughs> okay, you're you're in there. Awesome. Snake. Snake. I'm gonna snake. Make you, I'm gonna make you small size. You curl yeah, up yeah, right yeah. There. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, River, it's your turn. I got a tray, by the way. Thank I'm you. Run <laughs> And I'm gonna cure some wounds. There you are. <laughs> Neither, thank you. Boom. Hey, good roll for it. Well, decent roll. Not great. There you go. 16 for you. Great. You know, it is better than okay. Then I'm gonna cast a spiritual weapon. Awesome. What kind of weapon do you want? I want the mace. Okay. And 15 for my first one. Put that where you want. Where's that going? Right here. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna um, Please strike it. We'll put it right here. Strike it, well, yeah. the one down below? Uh, yeah. So, just That's 15 a hit. hit? That's a hit. There you go. Here we go. There's my damage. And that's awful, but it's something. You do four points of damage. Uh, That's my turn. Ethan, your turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, let's see. I wanna do um, burning hands, but I'm trying to figure out where I can position myself to hit the most of these things with. If you jump there, you can hit those three, or those two right there. Um, you can. Yeah. Let's go down. Do you want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. I'm going to do a uh, third level. Nice. Okay. Third level burning hands. Yep. Here we go. I love that uh, you guys aren't at all concerned about starting a forest fire. Yeah. I mean, they should be on fire. Very wet out. Very wet. It's been raining. It's, it's just raining. It's rain all over. Yeah. It's tough. You want to try and put this jungle on fire? It's... All right. That's a good point. That's a good point. Super wet. You can make it smoky. <laughs> Only problem. you can prevent force fires. Also, Doom has entered the chat. That's genius. <laughs> James Earl Jones. 
He's calling you James Earl Jones, Pat. Kodak Conan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Snake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know the riddle of steel? <laughs> that I was like when my, my younger oh, days. Made an arrow. Steel was. <laughs> but flesh is true power. Come, child. <laughs> Uh, give me a board of burning hands. Kenny? 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 It is. There it is. Here it comes. Dex, Dex. Hey. Uh, both save. Both are going to take eight point, uh, nine points of damage. None of these things are bloodied yet. Mm. Good spreading of damage. Tonk, it is your turn. It is? Uh, as in, you spread the damage. No, it's race turn. I'm about to say, yeah, you, what? What? Race yeah. turn. Yep. You said tongue. You said tongue. Oh, it's tongue, race you're was twice. That's why. Race, your turn. Goodness gracious. Okay. Um, yikes. Okay. Well, I definitely think. Or should I say no? Which one is actually fine? You think I know how far away? 30 feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna bonus action missy step to start off with. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You going in the water? You can. It's not terribly deep right there. That's what I was kind of considering. All right. Yeah, it's about two feet right there. It's kind of river runoff. Are there piranhas in there? There could be piranhas in there. Oh, dude. It's not a nice jungle. Ooh, but ooh. Wraith, you missy step. Can you, if you, if you can't see it, can you missy step? Oh, that is, oh, you know, you're right about Can that. you missy step onto the top of the wall? Oh, yeah, you know, like you're right in an unoccupied space that I can see. Ooh. Can't see, bro. At the end of your turn, you can make a check, though. You can make another save. Concept. So, if that's the case, then. Oh, right, because he's blinded. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. So, I forgot about that. You know what? I think I'm just going to pull an old octopus tr trick. I'm going to just cast Fog Cloud or I'll, like just drop a Fog Cloud. Level one. Uh, one second. Yeah. Take this, so uh, That's within range. You can drop a Fog Cloud. Fog Cloud. Just, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you drop it right where you're at? Yeah, just like straight up octopus ink. Just push. Can you make me a make me a very difficult nature check? Oh god. Oh god. Nature check? Yeah, about the scorpions. I know what it is. So difficult as in like disadvantage difficult? No, just give no, me a high check. DC. Just give me a nature check. You don't know that these things have blind sight? How to kill your friends and, <laughs> and associates. You cast blind your friend, blind them while letting the <laughs> monsters still kill. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> might have someone drop today, guys. It might happen. Uh, you ready? You cast fog cloud. <laughs> These things have blind sight, sixty feet. So, sixty feet. Good okay. lord! Wow. It's okay, is that something that I know? Or no, that was the nature check. That was the you nature check. It. See if you knew it. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, do we know? Do I know that though? I'm gonna roll on my turn because uh, I know it is Rikyo, and I'm gonna roll and I'll yell it out if I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wraith, you, you, um, God, with a 15. Because that He's really a is going to make the difference of what the next move is. <sighs> I'm going to say you don't know, man. I'm sorry. Okay. So, because I don't know. You're going to learn today. Continuing with the, with the, uh, with the role playing here. I'm going to tr try to, like, since I know the general direction, back up. <laughs> okay, here comes two uh, reaction attacks on you. Yeah, I'm definitely. God dang it. That is a, a miss and a crit for a 10 bludgeoning. Jeez. These scorpions, though, their claws aren't big enough to grapple you. So that's a good thing. Uh, they are big, but their they're real bad thing is their poison. Uh, that is their turn. Uh, right, so getting, getting a con save? Give me a con save with advantage. With advantage. Okay, that's better. Not, that's a nat 20. I, I, I'm good. You are no longer blind, except you are because you're in a fog cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, River, you're being attacked with advantage. Tim, did you forget about your temp HP? 
Oh, I, I did. Remember, that's a 20. I'm going to hit you for four bludgeoning. I have an AC of 20. And then a stinger is going to come in and 19. Miss. Your AC is 20? 20. Mm-hmm. My AC is 20 now. Woo! Okay. Mine's beefy cleric is beefy. Uh, okay. That is, that's going to miss you. Uh, stinger comes comes and misses you on the, on the snake. Yep. Well, that's all basically. Uh, that's going to be two hits. You take 16 bludgeoning. Okay. And then stinger. Now, does uh, th- does the snake have the temp HP that Kest had? The snake had... Uh, yes. Okay, so I'll make, take that out first. <laughs> so that was nine. That was nine. Yeah, yeah, got, it, got it. Got it. I'll wait to see what I got next. Uh, this one's going to hit you for a very poor uh, stinger. Give me a con save as a snake. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Alt. Where's my things? What the hell is it? Oh, there it is. You just make it. You are not. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. Uh, here comes. That's gonna do. So all that is sixteen plus another six, so twenty-two points of damage. Twenty-two. Uh, and then here comes okay. the other one on you, Snake. Hold in it. Okay, got it. That's a miss and a hit for seven bludgeoning. Okay, seven more. And then a stinger comes in and that will Nine. hit you for, give me another con save Excuse for another 16. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mark it on your snake as well. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just keeping my uh, the hit point for the hits. That should hit, that's actually good. Okay. So All how right, many was that one. last one? That's 16 damage plus the seven bludgeoning is 20, uh, 23? Yeah. 23. Okay. Got it. Just Mark it on your dude. Yep. Doing it. CR2 and monsters are tough. He was getting tagged twice, just meaning six times. Uh, these are these are CR3s. Here comes on Hugh. One, two, three, four. Miss, 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 miss. Sting, sting. He's just ducking and weaving and dodging and moving and grinding. Dodge, man. So we do it. Uh, and then Ethan, you're getting attacked. Just normal, normal attacks. Miss, miss. And a twenty. That's a hit, Ethan. What's your AC? Uh, sixteen. Uh, you take ten piercing, twelve poison. Give me a con save. Oh, if you make the save, you reduce the damage by half. So, Snake, you probably had some more poison reduction than you. You make the save, Ethan. So, uh, uh, yeah, Wraith, give yourself, give yourself another 10 hit points. I forgot to reduce it by half. 10? Okay, I'll take Not 10. Take, give yourself another 5. And then, Ethan, you take um, 10 piercing and 6 poison. 16 points damage. Okay. Unless you have poison resistance. No. Okay. Ethan, you are bloody. Cal, it is your turn. Before we do that, let's take another break. Let's take another break. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. The tale is old as time. When the DM leaves the room, yeah, the players thing about cheat. Breaks and <laughs> players returning to a combat from, from after after a week. Suddenly they know they know what they're doing. They suddenly know what they're doing. Yeah, funny that. Cal, it's your turn. What do you got? All right. Um, I think I think I'm gonna do fireball again. Yeah, but I'm gonna try and do it like right there. Will that hit Ethrin or is that that will not hit Ethrin? Okay, so like right there is even better. Okay, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> All right. Um, let's roll it. Cool. Oh. Give me something good. 26 is bad. Oh, there's a fail. And two I fails. Yay. 26 damage. Did I bloody one at least? Bloody both of these dudes. Yay. Cool. Tom, uh, bloody is a condition in the new, in 2024. Oh, it is. Cool. Yeah, they realized that everyone was using it. So. It's super helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it's really helpful. So this aura of... Uh, of Sheldon's dude, when I walk into it, do I get the temp? It, 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 it happens summit? on it happens on my turn. He has on to your burst, turn, he has to burst it. Uh, so first question: Am I in the fog cloud? 
You are in the fog cloud. Okay. Do I have to roll to see what direction I move in to uh, get out? Raise, oh, I will say, Raise, you can drop that fog cloud anytime you want. It's only hurting your party. No, I thought oh, it has I to be on its turn, doesn't it? That, yeah, that's no, no, no. You can drop you can drop concentration anytime. Oh, oh, Sweet. that's rad. Then, yes, I mean, now that I'm not blinded, absolutely okay. we're dropping that. You can drop it literally because it's just a thought. To, it's just releasing a thought. Uh, you hear so everybody like, oh, God, I can't see. They're just digging. <laughs> Why do the scorpions have fog cloud? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. Uh, in that case, for my bonus action, Sheldon will position over here and give everybody in the circle nine temp hit points. Everybody gets nine. Mm-hmm. Unless you have nine, then you don't get anything. Well, I, I, I feel like I specifically picked people who didn't have temp HP. You do. There you go. You put nine in your blue bubble. Yay. And then he'll use the rest of his movement to get up here. all five feet of it and Tunk will climb up to this climb up on this rock and firebolt this one right here which one sorry okay give me a shot that's a oh god that's a hit for 22 points of damage still up but very badly bloody Oh. A lot of hit points. Uh, it is Hugh's turn. Hugh's gonna Finish switch. it, Hugh! She's going to switch gears and go reckless. He will hit it for six points, uh, severing a claw and slashing its face, killing it, and then he'll also hit this one for three points. Nice. That's his turn. Cast. Uh, I'm just going to tr- I'm gonna try and constrict that guy. Okay, give me, give me an attack. Uh, constrict the DC 16. That's a crit. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Ah. okay. Uh, you start to squeeze the scorpion, which means it is restrained. Uh, and you, then, almost, uh, you are now, you're now hugging this thing. And cool. then with my bonus action, I'll call lightning down here to hit okay. those two. Here it comes. Uh, where's it? There it is. DC 14. They both make it. Oh, they both make it. Well, let's get big one. Come on, big, big. <laughs> I'll take it. It does 10 points to both of them. That is not. River, your turn. Uh, Nick, but, real quick, yeah. Nick, did you give yourself the temp HP? Oh, is it temporary HP? Blue yeah, blue give yourself nine, 9 HP. It was, okay. it, yeah, nine the, the blue HP. bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Does it show up? I thought I did it. Uh, yeah, it's there. It's there. You, I mean, you can do it. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'm going to uh, inflict wounds on the this guy right here. Okay, go ahead. That will do... Uh, Oh, I did it again. Sorry. Yep. What the hell is that saying? First. Oh, Sorry. Ignore that. Twelve to hit. Second one. What? Twelve necrotic. It's a twenty-one to hit. Yeah, okay. it's a melee attack. With yeah, the, it's a okay. touch. That's twelve points of damage. You uh, you touch this thing on the claw and you burn part of it away. This thing is bloody. Okay. And then uh, my spiritual weapon to this guy. Yes, indeed. Go ahead. There's for hit. 16. Uh, that is a hit. And here's my damage. Another little one. Four points. Nice. Yeah. All right. That's my turn. Ethan, what you got? Let's see. Um, let's do level two burning hands on this one here. Just keep roasting it. I love it. Okay. Ethan's always been a fan of that barbecue. Yep. <laughs> it makes it, but give me a roll. Okay. Uh, you burn it for seven points. It's still up. Wraith, your turn. All right. 
right. Definitely going to reposition to get better uh, shot. All right. So we're definitely going to do first shot on this guy right here. Okay. Right. Ugh. That's a miss with pride. Second attack. That's a hit. Crack it in the side for 10 points. Still coming. Here they come, everybody. Uh, they don't have advantage. This one has disadvantage to attack the, the snake. Uh, let's just do from the top. Hugh has advantage on Hugh. That's a hit, a hit, and a hit. Jeez. Hugh takes 12, 21 piercing. And then he needs to make a con save. He has advantage. It does not matter. He fails and is blinded. Oh, no. Uh, and he will take three points of poison because he is resistant because he's a dwarf. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ethrin, here comes attacks on you. That's one hit only on Ethrin. That, that claw for five bludgeoning. Nice. On our sneaky boy, here comes disadvantage. Uh, eight, six, hits. 11, which is 12. That's 11? Oh, yeah, 12. The 12. Sting. The sting. 12, 12 got me, yeah. So that sting is going to hit you, and you take 15 and make concept. With the sneak. Hold on. Uh, alt. Don't cut. Take a second. Con. Got you it. make it. So you only take eight piercing and three. Uh, you take 10 points, uh, 11 points of damage. Okay, 11. That's a bloody up snake. Go far. And then I think you might be getting attacked again there, snake. This one yep. is flanking you now. Uh, here comes the claw. Claw. Sting. There are some lucky shots there, dude. That is a crit for 13 and then a hit. Roll me a con save. Coming wow. again. Might not matter, but. Yep. Are you, are you no longer a snake anymore? I'm still a snake. Uh, well, yeah, I'm still. Uh, hold on, but uh, nope. Okay. So how many total Great. points is that? <laughs> uh, if you marked from last time, I hit you for uh, eleven. Yeah, I got the eleven down. And did you and did then, you mark it off your snake? I haven't. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but you were doing the next. I just have it on a piece of paper right now. So eleven and thirteen is twenty-four. Is uh, plus another ten is thirty-four. You're and that's going to knock points. you out. You have, have three points. At thirty-seven. Uh, plus, Plus another four poison. Oh, plus another. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and you are, and you get a nap one. This one hits you. Uh, you're at 37, which means this is going to do one point of damage to you. Yeah. So it's gone. And then cast your back. This thing does one point of damage to you. Your temporary HP is gone. You take one hit point. You're at 44. You are okay. blinded and uh, paralyzed. All right. Gosh. Uh, let me just roll a d4. A d4. So that'll put you right. Yeah, we want to fight a dragon, I guess. It makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, River, here comes you have three tags on you. Yeah. I mean, oh this was God. an ambush, guys. We were asleep. <laughs> uh, River, give me... Uh, it's nine bludgeoning and then 12 piercing. And then roll me a con save, please. Yes. What'd you get? That's a, that you make that. So you only take, uh, you only take nine bludgeoning, 12 piercing and eight poison. So 20, no, uh, 29. There you go. Okay. So you have nine temporary hitch points. Those are gone. And so now you just take 20 off your regular life. Oh, well, that's it. That's all. You are bloody. It is Cal's turn. Cal, your turn. All right. Um, what was the, do you have a rule with wands? If you use more charges for like a level one spell, can you upcast it? Or is it always just level one? What kind of wand you got? Depends on wand the of fear. Wand of fear. Yeah, because I was going to use command. So command, I was going to upcast it. Some some wands don't let you do that. Um, Does it say it somewhere? I wasn't sure. Uh, 
Yeah, because this one just lets you command or cone of fear. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this one you can't upcast. Okay. Just one. But All right, I'm still going to use it. I'm going to command that one to flee. Okay. This one up here to flee. Okay. Yeah. One system save. 15 whiz. That's a fail. This yep, one is, it is. to flee. This one's now afraid. Cool. But specifically, it's like flee is like go away. Yes. It's not like the fear. It's just like go away. Yes. Spends its turn moving away. <clears throat> cool. All right. Tonk, it's your turn. Uh, bonus action, Sheldon. Oh, sorry, Ethan. Uh, Kest and River get nine temp hit points. Yes, they do. And then, and then Sheldon will, or Sheldon Tunk will fire at this one. Okay, go ahead. I, wa I want to move as well. Tozen. Okay, go ahead. And it's not going to affect what Tunk's doing. That is a hit, and you blast this one apart. <laughs> Gone. Oh, oh. And that's my turn. It is Hugh's turn. You hear a screaming dwarf swinging wildly. Ah, ah, I can't see! Uh, <laughs> uh, and he strikes at this one who's been commanded to uh, run away with advantage, so it's a normal strike. Here it comes. Uh, yeah, get it. it. He hits it for 10. Does and that cancel the flea? Runs over, it does not. Uh, he runs over here. I don't think, I think if you take damage, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say. Specifically. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Uh, Kess, it's your turn. Can Kess, I do anything and get out of this? Paralyzed. You can give me a save. I, give me a con save at the end of your turn. Yeah, but can I do other stuff or? No, you're paralyzed this turn. Uh, so. He is still blinded. Well, hold on. I, don't I can't. I can't command a scorpion because it doesn't understand my language. Oh, crap. Would you like That's to do something bad. else? Yeah. Let me. I mean, you can just say I fucked up. I was like, oh shit. I, I blew it. Uh. Um. So it just doesn't work. No, that's the way. Like I blew it. It's my fault. Away. It's my fault. So I blew it. So um, it doesn't leave. Okay. So it'll, there. it'll try and claw. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's a hit. Hugh takes 10. As he swings out and runs away. This creature is not commanded. Uh, Cass, what you got? Cass, uh, okay. call me a con save at the end of your turn. Okay. Uh, can I do anything? No, you're paralyzed. So. You're blinded my and. My turn's paralyzed. over? Your turn's my over. My turn's over. Okay, so roll, roll you a con save? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your eyelids are working fine. It's rough, dude. It's real rough. That's a save. You are no longer blinded or paralyzed. Okay. At the end of your turn. That is very good. Uh, this thing is no longer restrained by a snake. Riv uh, River, it's your turn. And if I move, I'm going to get an attack of opportunity on me, right? Okay. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm going to do word of disengage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do word of radiance, I guess, on okay. these two snake, uh, two guys below me. Okay, so they need a that. constitution of 14 or more. God damn it. Fail, one, one succeeds. Okay. That's literally the... a one and a 20. Yep. That's funny. Eight on one. That does eight points of damage to the one on the left. Okay. Then spiritual weapon, right, to the one next to it. Here's the one. hit. Which one? This one? Oh, the one that's next to it. Yeah. Uh, well, no, yeah. One. There you go. This one? Yeah. Okay, that's a hit. Okay. And here's the damage. Let's get bigger than one, finally. I mean, I got what I wanted. <laughs> that's, a, that's a six. Uh, yeah. Ethan, it's your turn. Save your friends, Ethan. What you got? Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to build him. What's that? Get close to Sheldon. Gosh. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Everybody <Okay>. hug the turtle. <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Wait. If I. If I maneuver, can I. Um, let's see. Maneuver. Sorry, one sec. Uh, maneuver like around this way and get these two. 
to get more burning hands. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, you can 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah. You can get there and then burn them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we get two, we get two of them. Okay. Here comes some burning, burning hands. Yeah. You're in a roasting mode, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Kenny finds a tag. He's like, I'm doing it all the time, I'm hitting it. Mm. Uh, that's the, the top one will say, the bottom one fails. That's 14 to the bottom one. <laughs> this one is bloodied, and the top one takes seven. Wraith. Hi. Hey, Wraith. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. okay, listen, I know I messed up, but okay, let's be real. Uh, uh, all right. Um, hey, it's all yeah, part of the venturing. Mm. You didn't mean to do it. If you meant to do it, that'd be really, that'd be it's real messed up. Well, that would be PvP at that point, right? I mean, PvP, yeah. Defensive action. All right, let's go over here. We're going to start taking some shots. Let's go next one next to the river. Let's okay, go ahead. Right. You are, this one's flanked. Go ahead. God damn, that's not not working out tonight. That is not one. That's not one. I don't see it, but that, that, that is not one. one. Ooh. That's a hit. That's a possibility. That's 11. All right, here they come. <laughs> oh, God. Here they come. Uh, Cass, you're not paralyzed. It's a very, very good thing. Yep. If, they, if, they're, if you're paralyzed, they have advantage and they auto crit. Oh God! Oh. Good thing. Uh, Tunk, you are one two. Q is three four. One one. Damn it! Coming for Cal. Coming for Cal. You gotta get in there, bud. Soak it up there, tanky boy. I'll get there. Well, I'm not tanky because you said we're naked. I'm talking. To, I'm story. talking to Trey. Oh, I'm Trey. also <laughs> naked. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we were sleeping. Claw, claw, sting. Everybody's acting like that. This means uh, the dragon is a bad is idea. 15. That's what I'm gonna, <laughs> but I'm going to use my reaction, which yeah, is this boy. thing. I don't know what is happening with that roll. Oh, we are asleep. This doesn't count. So that arcane deflection, okay. I don't know why it's a roll, but like I... What does it do? Arcane it just gives me a plus two to AC. For the round or for one attack? For that attack. For one attack, yeah. So, so you actually, instead one. of that, I'll just yeah. shield. You cast shield. Okay. Shield, yeah. You block them both. That turns out to be a dumb ability. Uh, cast I mean, it's, it's useful if you are one off. It doesn't use a well, but it's only one attack, though. It doesn't, doesn't use a spell slot, but yeah. Yeah, uh, so, yeah. Cast, here comes an attack on you. Yep. Claw, claw. Sting. Whoa. Oh. To the yes, point. A miss. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Why are you doing this? These things, I'm just rolling, man. These things attack every time. They're brutal. Uh, Cast, that's going to be all those hit, man. You're flanked. Um, uh, you take 12 bludgeoning, 11 piercing, and roll me a con save. <laughs> you make a con save. Thank uh, God. You take four, four poison, 12 bludgeoning, and 11 piercing. Okay. Can I help that up? And then this other one's attacking River, one, two, River. There we go. Let's do it. River, this one's coming for you. This one right here is coming for you. Let's go. That is a miss and a miss, I think. Yep. Yes. Can't hit the tanky boy. And that is going to hit. Ah. Roll me a con save, please. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. You're good. I really am. Good. You make it. You only take seven piercing and two draining. poison. You take nine points of damage. Then this one's attacking you. Here it comes. Claw, claw. It's one hit for nine bludgeoning. Uh, wow. Nine bludgeoning. Okay. Stinger's coming in. That is a miss. <sighs> Cal, it's your turn. All right. I'm going to move here. I'm going to cast Rhymes Binding Ice, which is a 30 foot cone. Nice. So I should Jesus. just them. You can hit both of them. Okay, here comes con saves. One, two. Oh. Assholes. Right. Fuck so they off. Have... <laughs> both <laughs> save. They both take seven points of damage. Yep, and they don't get frozen in place, which is really what I wanted. 
Um, okay, and then I will... Misty... No, I'll stay here. I'll stay here. I'll try and break up the damage here. Okay. Tonk, it's your turn. Tonk, what you got? Uh, okay, everybody in the circle, rebuff your temp HP. Woo! Nine. Nine, please. Put yeah. Blue at okay. nine. And this guy, I'm going to... Actually, screw that. These guys are going to get shattered. Shatter right yeah, there. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Press con says. Fail and it fail. Does it do that to all to all your shadow? Oh yeah. If you're in if you're in range. That does twenty five. This one yep. explodes. <laughs> in the water. This one is very, very badly hurt. This one's on death's door. Thank the Lord. It is Hugh Hagenstone's turn. He rushes in reckless again. I can't see! <laughs> So call, <laughs> so sit still. No! <laughs> uh, he's, he's just following the clickety clacks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he hits it for nine. Yeah! Uh, Cass, it's your turn. And then he okay. gets to roll to see if he's, if he's still poisoned. Yeah. One sec. Sorry. I can't roll my con saves for shit. But your there attack it rolls. Finally. He makes, the he's not like, no longer poisoned. Okay, Cass, what you got? Okay, I will recall lightning because I failed my last con save. So. Did you? Yes, which one are you hitting? Uh, the one uh, directly below me. Or this that one guy. is yeah. dead, unless you roll ma- uh, express yeah, we'll minimum. It's all ones. Be, oh my ones. god, they're all ones. That's good. That's dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so that, that, let me concentrate real quick. Uh, yeller. Okay, and now I am going to become a either a uh, cave bear or a polar bear, whatever one you like. They both have the same stats. Uh, I think you've become a polar bear before. Right? Polar bear will be sad in the jungle. That's what yeah, I was saying. Cave bear might be a little, <laughs> little, little, little more upbeat. <laughs> ah, it's cave bear, whatever it is. Yeah. And he'll be just standing right, right next to this son of a gun. Okay, you're a polar bear now. Okay, awesome. Uh, Cast. That's your turn. River. All right. Can I get control? Of the Try to figure out. Yes. Figure out if I should heal. No. Nope. I'm gonna do uh, level two guiding bolts on here. Yeah. Here we go. Level two guiding bolt on this one up here. Cool. Cool. Yep. Boom. I roll like shit. That was a hit. 22 points of damage. This thing's lit up and bloody. Okay, and then I am withdrawing my spiritual weapon to do mass healing word instead. Your spiritual weapon can still hang out there. Oh, okay. Well then, yes, yeah, I will do okay. that then. Mass healing word, go ahead. Yep, 60 feet, and here's my roll. So... Everyone heals 11. 11. Yep. Everyone heals 11. Woohoo! Masculine word is super good. Uh, <laughs> no longer bloody. Hey guys, this is a warm up. You want to fight a dragon? Don't no forget to heal, buddy. <laughs> How much? I'm sorry. I don't know what is this? What you guys get for taking hits? <laughs> Just don't get hit. Like two minutes ago, sounds like a recipe for the line to let the let the rushers through. <laughs> Remind the quarterback of why they don't get hit. <laughs> no problem, boss. <laughs> time, to, time to tie up tongue and let him hang a tree for a while. Uh, River, River, is that your turn? Yep. Done. Okay, uh, Ethan, what you got? Uh, let's. Do you have a guiding bolt? You can shoot a guiding bolt if you want to. Do you have a guiding bolt? He's a sorcerer. He probably can. I no, he can't. Oh, are you a divine? You're divine soul, right? What's that? Are you divine soul? <laughs> what kind of sorcerer are you? Uh, forget, is divine that... mind or whatever? I don't know. Divine mind. <laughs> uh, no, um, uh, I forget what kind of sorcerer you are. Why do I forget what I am? Uh, yeah, no, so does he. It was, uh, hey. You'd think, they'd, you'd think they'd say at the, at the top, but they really the top, don't. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Yeah. Uh, you have to go to your features and traits to find out what you are. 
It's weird because on like the campaign screen, it does say, I think it'll tell you like what flavor you are. Yeah. Good enough. Are you, are you Draconic? Draconic Sorcerer. Yeah. Yeah, you're Dragon Boy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What you got? Um, okay. Let's do, uh, let's do a Firebolt. Um, this one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. There we go. You need, to, you need to add some spells to your character, too, Ethan. You need to add three spells to your guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, make sure you add three on this long rest. Yeah. That's a miss. With your, with, then roll again. You have, you have advantage. Okay. okay. That also miss. Brutal. Wraith, it's your turn. Woo, I got testy there. Woo, Wraith. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, listen, I'm not everyone's favorite ranger right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we can't turn against each other. That's what the DM wants. Not what I want. <laughs> I want you guys to learn. You will learn today. <laughs> you will learn today. You're going to learn fall. today. You're going to learn. Uh, uh, Wraith, go ahead. Okay. Um, it's not bloodied. That one's funny. Okay. Yeah, let's just continue to shoot the bloody one. Go yeah. ahead. Hit. Ten. Back. Oh god. And that is a that is a miss. God damn it. It's all right. This place got me frazzled. Like uh, it really got really frazzled. On Hugh, no one's dropped, guys. No one's just gotten real close, but no one's dropped. Uh, on Hugh, Hugh's getting hit, hit. Oh, I have advantage. Oh God, hold on a second. Yeah. Uh, those are all hits. Jesus. I will take the ten, the fifteen, and the fifteen. Got it. He takes. 22, 31 bludgeoning, and nine. If you bet on Hugh, <laughs> Hugh, <laughs> Hugh drops to the ground and begins to die as he is stabbed by a scorpion stinger. He is on the ground. Oh, damn it. I was. He'll be fine. Oh, wait. Did the, healing word, did the healing word hit him? It hits everybody. It has 16. Okay, it so hit everybody. Let me, let me add 11 to him. Hold on a second. That might save him. I think it does save him. Uh, 22, tw- 31, and then he makes con save. Everywhere. Uh, he makes it. So, uh, instead of, what did I roll? Got it. Okay. Uh, one second. 22, Uh, four, two. He takes two more poison. He's still up, but he's very badly bloody. Mm. Okay. That's that one. Over here. Probably attacking the bear. Cool. Good doing his job of just tanking everything. Fine. Uh, you do. Uh, that's gonna be ten bludgeoning. Make me a con save. Oh, with the bear, right? Yeah. Yes, please. Good break. Okay. Come up, con, coming. Make it. Fantastic. That's a make. You make that. That's gonna be ten bludgeoning. Got it. Uh, uh, eight piercing, and then four poison. So, then eighteen. Two. Got it. Okay. Took off nine. Cal, go. it is your turn. Totally dead. Which one? On the bloody one. Okay. Here it comes. Oh, that's terrible. It's going to make that. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. I rolled a three <laughs> on two to 12. <laughs> um, yeah. Tonk, it is your turn. I'm gonna move up here to take the. I'm gonna vortex there. warp the barbarian next to the damn cleric. You vortex warp the barbarian. The cleric. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then, uh, okay. yeah. Sheldon. I was gonna run there next, but okay. <laughs> is going to. Is that gonna get Hugh? Uh, that will. Is that going to get Hugh? Who? Yeah, Hugh. Uh, Hugh. That will get. Yeah, that will get Hugh. Yeah. All right, uh, everybody in the circle, buff your temp HP. Okay, he gets nine. So you telling me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, nope. And that's my turn. 
Actually, no, I'm not going to move there. I'm just going to... Yeah, it's fine. 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 <laughs> I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Don't keep calling me. Got some Ferris Bueller's, everybody. And then I'm going to shout, you stay put for five seconds. Come on, Cameron. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, <laughs> I mean, six seconds. Excuse me. It is Hugh's turn. Uh, Hugh's in a blood rage. He runs up and recklessly attacks. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little taste of what it was like to be Veil. Vale. <laughs> <laughs> trying to heal you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just just stay right there. This is, it, that's exactly what just it is. For one I, second. Let me save you. That's exactly what it is, too. <laughs> You is Thogoth. Yes, yes it's your totally. turn. Yes, what you got? <laughs> All right, uh, bite and then a claw. You can flank if you want. Do you want to flank up here? Yes, flank. That's a hit. You bite into oh, it and you claw it for 18 yeah. points of damage. Yeah, he was already flanked, wasn't he? Because I was somewhere right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're already flanked. Yeah, you're good. Uh, River, your turn. <laughs> I guess so, I'll uh, cure. I'm going to run up to you and. Cure, cure wounds on him. <laughs> what trying, you not to, not? trying not to get in the way of the swinging battle axe. <laughs> yeah. Just like, cure him. Go ahead. Okay, there's 12 for him. Nice. Five. Solid. Uh, Ethrin. And then uh, my spiritual oh. weapon. Yes. I'll transport it up to Mia. Go ahead. Give me a strike. And then here is my strike. There we go. That's a hit. And six more points. It had five hit points. You splat this thing. Boom. Great. Now, Ethan. What? Ethan, what you got? Yeah, I'll fire bolt this one. Go well, ahead, do it. Go. Uh, it's a hit. <laughs> Blast it. Four points. Wraith. Here comes Wraith. It's all down to you, buddy. <laughs> Wraith Whoa, just takes man. a break and lets Tunk get hit. <laughs> no, well, yeah, I'm going to hold my action. <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm just over this second level uh, ensnaring strike as a bonus action. Okay. And then let's try to get at this thing. Seventeen to hit. So that's twelve. To start off with, in the end, um, snaring strike is two d six. Make a strength save. Yes. It saves, but you do eight piercing to it. Damn it! Bloody. Second attack. Uh, that is a mess. A mess. <laughs> uh, here is its turn. Tongue is coming on you, buddy. It Bring matter. it. This does matter. Claw, claw, sting. Twenty three uh, is gonna hit the stinger. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. A Constitution saving throw, please. Hold. Damn it. Uh, okay, fine. I'll do the con save first, computer. That's a save. Uh, you only take 10 piercing and two poison and are not blind. Uh, Cal, it is your turn. Let's try this again. Yes, indeed. Let's see if it comes through. Oh, weird. Oh, yes. I fail. Oh, wait, that was yours. Where did my roll go? There it is. 21. That's a little better. Kill it. The uh, tongue, you want to knock it out? What? It's me. Oh, it's still alive? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Go for it, Tunk. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Is that, did I only, yeah, I missed you twice. Is your AC 10? What's your AC? 15? Who? Yours, Tunk. Without my armor, it's 15. Okay, gotcha. All right, you're fine. Yeah. Um. Sure. That's respectable without armor. It's yeah, special. sure. Let's try to finish it off with that. Uh, you blast this thing into oblivion. Even if I say it. Even if I say yes. it. 
Lord. All right. <laughs> A couple of things are happening. There's good news and there's bad news. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hang on, hang on. Sheldon's going to just reposition and give everybody some temp HP. Oh, you don't, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. You're no longer in danger of anything assaulting you. I'm not oh. sure I believe you. Uh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> But, uh, but I do need everyone who took damage from these things. Is that, is that everybody? I think nope. that's everybody. It's it's not me. John did not take damage from these things. Anybody who's not John, uh, give me a constitution saving throw, please. DC 11. Oh, God damn it. Great. Awesome. I, nope. I j- five or higher. I guess it's a fail. <laughs> okay. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys have, you, uh, Wraith, River, and Kess, you don't feel so great. Ugh. Are you immune to disease, Wraith, as a robot? Uh, yeah. I believe I am actually. Yeah. Okay. So never mind. You're, you're fine. Yes. Yeah, immune to disease. Cast and River, you don't feel so great. Okay. And at the end of your three-day journey uh, to uh, Boyer's, uh the wreck of the Narwhal, uh, you uh, you contract shivering sickness. Okay. Um, this is native to the jungle chart. Na- native to the jungles and marshes of Chult. Um. Uh, usually your insect repelling salve will protect you from this, but you are stung by these creatures, native. Um, you uh, are infected with this. You have blood. Can I use my lesser restoration? Yes. It, it starts to help. Your lesser restoration starts to help. Uh, but this one's a particularly bad one. So we go through a montage of you stumbling into the wreck of the narwhal and just a just a medic ward of a couple days at the narwhal of you shivering with blurred vision, disoriented, a sudden drop in body temperature that causes uncontrollable shivering and chattering of the teeth. Your lesser restoration does mute it for a while. And then, and then we go into a montage of boyes, like putting different herbs all over your body and different salves on your face. And at the end of three days, he does cure you. Uh, everyone else is trying to help out as best they can. And the good news is that I do allow one milestone from a random encounter, and I think I'll give it for this one, because this one was <laughs> That'll put you at 15. Grazie. Level up. That puts you at level seven. So. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? We're at level seven right now? Mm-hmm. Uh, that, sh- that should put you at level After seven. After a long rest. Shit, I've been <laughs> playing level five. Fuck. <laughs> what Good the Lord. hell? <laughs> Let's fight that dragon right now. Read the notes, bro. He <laughs> <laughs> needs spells. He's five levels behind. Put yourself at level Why? seven. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you oh learned something from being sick for so uh, long. So I mean, so is, is, is everyone's solution to just never fight a dragon because we don't have our shit together? <laughs> no, it's it's, it's to a risk sure we have. <laughs> No, 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 just no. leveled up two <laughs> levels, man. I'm ready to go. <laughs> uh, give me your two best survival checks. Uh, Four. not it. Uh, crap baskets. I started. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, what am I trying to do? Five, four. Uh, I just kind of got plus three. Okay, fifteen. Okay, give me another one. And we got better? Okay, no. Uh, what do you got? Oh, I got Plus three. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you got better or you. No. Roll it up. Sure. Not really been. Oh, God, that's a natural. <laughs> Once in my life. Now, 20, great. Oh, it's one of those nights. All right, then I will give you. I'll give you three doses then. You get three doses of night scorpion venom. Sick. Uh, one second. <laughs> that might be useful against his, uh... So, 
Night nice Scorpion Venomous 2d6 Poison for injury. Injury poison. Target is blinded for 1d3 hours. Successful con save. Saving throw reduces damage by half. Prevents blindness. Uh, you can repeat the saving throw at the end of the turn, ending the effect on itself with a successful save. There you go. You can't be DC? paralyzed. You can't be What's paralyzed that? if you fail by five or more. Oh, DC. finally. DC is 12. 12. Hey, right. hey, guys, guys, you know those con saves y'all were making? Yeah. Now I can help you with con saves. <laughs> uh, change your tokens here at the bottom of this page. Remember, we're still in legacy mode until you guys want to make the switch. Yep. Stay in legacy. I'm just going to level them up in parallel. Go. But yeah. Another second little spell. Can I put my armor back on? What's everybody doing? I'm just going back to, uh, I'm just doing another level of fighter. I'm still a ranger. I'll basically, I just get another second little spell. I got action surge. Surgeration. All right, if you're watching, I'm still, looks like we got two teams versus two teams from our TVT. For team versus team sun, uh, PVP on Sundays, that'll be on the 22nd. So I'm still looking for two more. If anybody wants to join that game, let me know. But we'll play with two. We'll go 2v2. 2v2 sounds fun. Two teams versus two teams. Two teams. Uh, River, you're at 45 health now? Yeah. All right. Ethan, what, what's your HP at? Uh, should be 37 now. Yep. Yep. 60. And then. Okay. So I get Ranger Architect feature. You have Flash of Genius now? Great. Awesome. Yep. It's very That's useful. Good. It's a very useful ability. Wait, sorry. Are we having? Are we choosing Legacy uh, stuff? Yeah, still. Only Legacy stuff, yeah. Okay. Are you choosing spells, Kenny? You get you need more spells. Yes, I am right now, yeah. Okay. If we want to go new sorcerer, just let you know you get even more spells. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mike really wants to ditch. Why do you sound like a drug dealer right there? You're like, hey. Because I am. <laughs> I, am a drug dealer. I, I deal in D and D, guys. <laughs> I got the new stuff. You want the new stuff? Well, no, I, I like the old stuff. <laughs> yeah, but the old stuff is just like the old stuff is like old and shit. Old, man. Man. It's just old. <laughs> Your grandpa does. When do I get a new cantrip? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> can I um? Can I change out a cantrip at level up? Yeah, I'm allow that. Yeah, you can change your whole whole character. Uh, let me go into some announcements while we're doing this. Hold on one second. Do -do -do -do. Guys, uh, I actually have to go and uh, grab my daughter from uh, getting back from sports. So I got to run. Right. But thanks, all. Uh, I'll just post this link tree because this is. Uh, we are trying to sell some merch. I'll post this right here. Can I do this? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Uh, there's our link tree for our. Uh, for DM Tozy mouse pads. Come check them out. Click click your token and roll initiative uh, mouse pads. Mm -hmm. Pre-order them, and we will get them to you as soon as possible. Also, even more announcements. What do we got? What do we got? Um, it is September right now, so uh, make sure to subscribe if you can. It's 25% off one month subs, 25% off three month recurring subs, and 30% off six month recurring subs. Uh, and remember, the more you watch this channel, the more you, the more you, you accrue Tozy, uh, Tozy, point, Tozy tokens, which are your channel points at the lower left of your chat. You can use those to 
uh, change what happens to our heroes. But we haven't seen too many as of recently. I think people are saving them up. I know Thor isn't saving them up. Oh. Oh. I guess Tim got something fun. <laughs> I can learn spike growth now. <laughs> we don't yeah, know spike growth is great. Good how spell. much of that has been pretty awesome. It's a good spell. Between that or silence, and it's like... <clears throat> Pick up the spike growth. Just more CC. Uh, and also, Planescapers is happening every Monday. We are coming on, on the end of Planescapers. We've got three weeks left of Planescapers, I think. Maybe there, there'll be a, uh, maybe that'll be the penultimate on the um, uh, on the 23rd. 23rd is our resub day. Maybe that'll be our pen penultimate, and then we'll probably finish it up on the 7th. I don't know. But once we're done with Planescapers, we start with Azure Sky. Then our it's gonna be good. Yeah. Azure Sky is gonna be good. Yep, very fun. Very fun. It's about to give away a spoiler, but I can't can't do that. Obviously, it goes about to do it. the whole thing. Can't do that. All right, how we do? What's in the last six minutes? What what's your ruling on the new darkness? Can I use Mage Hand to move a coin that has darkness cast on it? Oh, we're still using Legacy Darkness, man. So no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, if we switch, if we switch to the new. Oh, show me, show me the new wording. Let's see. Yeah, if you look at, I'll, I'll post both of them. It's specifically to stop what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally just like. So yeah, here's the new one. Yeah, I'll basically, it's just the second paragraph. Okay, okay. Um, let's see. Let's look here. Uh, darkness. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, so the, the Legacy Darkness in the second paragraph says. Alternately, you can cast a spell on an object that isn't being worn or carried, causing the darkness to fill a 15-foot emanation origin from that object. So the, in the in the second sentence of the of the legacy, sorry, second, second, second paragraph, it says, if the point you choose is on an object you are holding or one that isn't being worn or carried, the darkness emanates from the object and moves with it. And they literally just yoinked that whole thing out of it. So my thing was like, could I like flick it with a mage hand <laughs> or use catapult? To move it, you just basically want to make a smoke bomb. Well, I just want to carry it with me, basically, because like I can, I can uh, see through it with Devil Sight. Otherwise, I should just change my whole gem. I have no problem with you flicking it with a mage hand because you can okay. cast it on a pebble. Yeah, you know, golfing it is not against the rules. Okay, cool. <laughs> but you just make like an attack or something, be, and like you can't carry it. Yeah, I just can't carry it. Okay, get uh, something. Let me try it. I'll try and make it work for another level or so. We'll see how it goes. Although I'm, I'm have to be a Voker now. Like I don't know what the hell. They didn't really fix the, the wizard subclasses very much. I mean, they're a little bit better. Where they used to just give a discount on scribing. That was literally all they gave you, really. Because wizards, um, wizards are very strong. Yeah, really, exactly. The but wizards. it's like, well, then don't make subclasses. Then be like, yeah, well, our base class is too good. You're just you just get no subclasses. Uh, uh, but yeah, the, uh, but I do get potent cantrip, if you haven't heard this. Your damaging cantrips affect even creatures that avoid the brunt. So basically, I can get half damage on cantrips now. Yeah, it's good. If you make the save, that's that's pretty cool. That's very cool, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get that, and then sorcerers get, like, sorcerer rage. Oh, sick. What? That's so perfect. They sorcerers get a, get a rage? They do. It's, a, it's called innate sorcery. Which is a dumb name for it. It should be called like Channel the Weave or something like that. Where because they get a minute of advantage on all uh, spell attacks, and their DC increases by one. They they just go Super Saiyan for a little bit. I like well, that. I know I know what I'm all playing in the next all campaign. Get that. It's very strong. And then Wild Magic Wild Mages are very very strong. If they tie to Chaos, which they can do every round, they automatically spark a wild uh wild search that's rad so that can it can be dangerous but most of them are pretty good what happened yeah. to bards oh i gotta look them up i gotta look them up i think i think bards get their um the big thing is that their their bardic inspiration happens on a um on a reaction as opposed to a bonus action thing yeah you don't have to do it ahead of time 
Yeah. Oh, just, nice. If you'd like, nice, yeah. you have some help. Yeah, you help as a reaction as opposed to. Spark. All right, I had to. All right, I'm, as I right. see more of the the new stuff, I'm like, all right, yeah, we can do the new stuff. <laughs> Let's make this work. We can't. We can't dip, we'll can't talk about it. Can't dip our feet though. We'll talk about it. Yeah. No, that's what I'm doing right now. Is I'm basically turning Cal into a human evoker, and then seeing where things land. We, we, okay. we can't even do it until the 17th. What, what are we? Until the 17th. That was, that was very correct. No, we should talk about it before then, so we can decide yes. on that day. Uh, cast, you're at 52. Keith is 37. Wraith 60. River 45. Cal 48. Okay. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's right for the legs. All right. We will stop it here. Good work, everybody. Mm -hmm. GGs, everybody. Uh, we were playing all month. We were playing on the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th of this month. So come check us out as we continue our adventures into Chultz. And we'll see whether these uh, whether these players want to make the switch or not. Whether they want the good drugs or the old drugs. That's right. The old faithful <laughs> drugs or the new drugs. drugs, man. Drugs. <laughs> One thing's for sure, we're doing drugs. Yeah, we're doing drugs. <laughs> we love drugs here. Awesome. Uh, let's raid. Yeah, let's do that. Thanks, Trey. Gotcha. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you next week. Take care. Yeah.